Chapter 941 The Overbearing Ancient Races Translator Born to be thousands of experts had occupied the Zhuangshan Dao sect now. Those people all possessed powerful auras, and they didn't bother concealing their killing intent at all. The ancient races. Oh young Kiyuaya was startled. She hadn't expected that their greeters wouldn't be their disciples, but thousands of ancient race experts instead. These people were all powerful experts from the various large ancient races. They had all reached foundation forging at least, and there were over ten of them with exceptionally powerful auras. They were half-step kings. That furious roar had come from an ancient race elder with two golden wings on his back. The ancient races have always been neutral. For you to suddenly attack my Zhuangshan Dao sect, do you think we're an easy target? Raged Ouyang Kiyuayu. This was absolutely intolerable. Over ten half-step kings had led thousands of foundation forging experts to occupy the Zhuangshan Dao sect that was an absolute insult. The ancient races usually lived in seclusion, rarely interacting with the rest of the world. Everyone knew that the ancient races were too powerful to provoke, but now they saw that the rumors of their power didn't do them justice. The aura of over ten half-step kings and thousands of foundation forging experts made it hard for them to breathe. HMPH. Our ancient races have always minded our own business when it came to the Zhuangshan Dao sect however, you ended up giving birth to a brute who slaughtered masses of our disciples. Today, if you don't hand over Long Chen and the other main offenders, the 800 allied ancient races will destroy your Zhuangshan Dao sect, shouted the winged elder. That elder was precisely the patriarch of the feather race. He was a half-step king and also one of the leaders of the ancient races. Yu Chang Heo was the descendant he looked the most favorably upon. He was the feather race's hope of soaring. When he had heard that he had been killed, he had coughed up a mouthful of blood. When the ancient race disciples that escaped the immemorial path reported what had happened, all the ancient races had gone mad. Over 90% of their elite disciples had been killed. As for their peak experts, they had all been slaughtered. Hearing the news that so many of them had advanced to rank 4 celestials but had still been killed drove them mad. They had charged their way into the Zhuangshan Dao sect, imprisoning all their disciples and waiting for Ouyang Kiyuayu to return. Now that she had, they immediately set down their conditions. Either hand over Long Chen, or have the Zhuangshan Dao sect destroyed. They weren't bragging. Sixteen half-step kings and thousands of foundation forging experts could be considered the full power of the ancient races. They didn't just want to kill Long Chen, they wanted to express their fury and let the entire eastern wasteland know that whoever dared to anger the ancient races would pay a terrible price. If the Zhuangshan Dao sect didn't have the head sect backing it, they would have long since killed all their disciples and destroyed the sect then let me see just how you will destroy the Zhuangshan Dao sect if you destroy my sect today. Then the head sect's people will arrive and pull you up by the roots. Do you want to come and try it? Sneered Ouyang Kiyuayu. For him to arrogantly say he would destroy the Zhuangshan Dao sect was completely intolerable. Oh young Kiyuayu didn't believe he really would dare to destroy her sect but it was true that he did have that power. You are intentionally angering me, he roared. It's you that's being completely unreasonable. Do your actions match the dignity my Zhuangshan Dao sect deserves? Oh young Kiyuayu roared back. She pointed to the statue at the center of the plaza. That was the mark of the Zhuangshan Dao sect it had actually been half destroyed by the ancient races. Were unreasonable? Bullshit. That brute you raised colluded with the aboriginals to slaughter ancient race disciples? Just how do you plan on paying that debt? Roared an elder with a claw-like hand. He was from the great eagle race and was also a half-step king. What he was most furious about was that none of his great eagle race's disciples had returned alive. Hearing this. Oh young Kiyuayu came to a sudden comprehension about why Long Chen would want to leave the Zhuangshan Dao sect however, she had long since been prepared and she still sneered. So what? The struggle of the martial path dictates that life and death are up to fate. Are your ancient races allowed to kill others for their treasures while others can't resist? Although she didn't know the whole story, she was able to guess what had happened based on how arrogant the ancient races were and how they didn't place the human race in their eyes. They viewed humans as prey. However, she hadn't expected Long Chen to have been so vicious. It seemed he had killed a truly massive amount of ancient race disciples. But Ouyang Kiyuayu threw caution to the wind. She felt that even if she had to die, she couldn't give such a peerless genius to them. Long Chen was the pride of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's eastern wasteland branch. You, you are courting death like this, raged the feather race's half-step king. Don't spout so much bullshit. The conflict between us has nothing to do with the ordinary disciples. They are innocent, so release them, said Long Chen. Brood, 
I will tear you apart piece by piece, stripping you of your skin, tearing out your muscles, crushing your bones. That's a matter for later. First, release the innocent people, said Long Chen. The feather races have stepped King's Fury Sword. However, he still maintained a bit of rationality, and he waved his hand. A foundation forging expert sneered. We'll give you this group of trash. The human race really likes wasting food on garbage. A bag appeared in his hand. It was unknown what kind of hide it was made of, but it released powerful fluctuations. He opened it, and a group of people tumbled out. That bag was an extremely rare spatial item. The disciples guarding the Zhuanshan Dao sect all tumbled out. Bastard. Seeing those disciples, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's experts' eyes almost tore out of their sockets, and they clenched their teeth so hard that they creaked. Those disciples had needles impaling their bodies all over. They were covered in blood, and their throats were shackled like they were livestock. Their shackles were all connected by chains. Inferior human race, we should treat you just like animals. All you are is a group of A-blood-colored light flew over. That person's sneer was cut short as he exploded. Fuck, you damn animals. After killing that ancient race expert, Long Chen's killing intent didn't weaken. He saw Xu Wuhan's figure amongst the crowd. Little brood, you dare kill him. The ancient race experts had originally been on the verge of going berserk, and Long Chen's attack pushed them over the edge. They all erupted with powerful auras and charged at Long Chen. The sound of a drum rang out, and those attackers were knocked back by a terrifying force. Oh Yang Qiyu stood in the sky, the heaven catching drum above her. She icily glared at the ancient race experts. The rest of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's forces hastily went up and removed the shackles rescuing those disciples who had been tortured into an incredibly weak state. Long Chen helped out Xu Wuhan, pain in his eyes. Xu Wuhan sighed. Big sister is getting more and more useless. It's not your fault. These brutes are too strong. Just rest for now. In a bit, you'll see how I get revenge for you. Long Chen had Men Qi and Tang Wan Er support Xu Wuhan. Just now, his fury had erupted. But now, just as quickly, he calmed back down. He looked at these overbearing ancient race experts. Oh young Kiyu, are you trying to force us? That feather race's half-step king took out an ancient bow, which released terrifying fluctuations. Even without attacking, it was obvious it was a king item. Rumbling filled the air as the other half-step kings also took out king items. Seventeen king items had now appeared. Even before they released their powers, they caused space to twist around them. Once they were activated, the Zhuanshan Dao sect would be blown to bits. I would rather shatter as jade than stay whole as a roof tile. Oh young Kiyu icily stared at the half-step kings, refusing to concede a single step. Even facing sixteen king items, her expression was determined. Shatter as jade. Shatter as jade. Shatter as jade. The Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples were affected by Oh young Kiyu display. They all roared as their fear at the king item's power disappeared. Their blood boiled. In fact, they even seemed a bit crazy. The ancient races were absolutely intolerable. They had humiliated the disciples of their sect under the pressure of powerful enemies. The Zhuanshan Dao sect displayed an unprecedented cohesiveness. This pressure brought out their determination. Sect Master, activate the king item. We'll fight to the death with these bastards, roared the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples. If it weren't for the power difference, they would have already charged forward. All they hoped was for Ouyang Qiyu to activate her king item and launch her most powerful attack. Although they knew that after this attack, other than the half-step kings, practically no one else would be able to survive. They were willing to exchange their lives for their enemies. Since you're so foolish, then you can die. I don't believe that the Zhuanshan Dao sect will truly dare to become enemies with the millions of ancient races in this world. Die, ants. The feather race's half-step king's face twisted in savagery. He actually activated his bow. The wind and clouds changed color. Space trembled as if it was about to crumble. Idiots. The only ones to die will be you. Another ancient race's half-step king sneered and took out an ancient diagram. It released runes that protected all the foundation forging experts. This was clearly a protective king item that could prevent their people from being injured. Die you inferior ants. The other half-step kings also activated their king items. Over ten attacks shot toward Ouyang Qiyu. Senior Eastern Wasteland Bell. Exterminate them for me, said Long Chen. Chapter 942 Terrifying Eastern Wasteland Bell Translator. Born to be space split open as a broken bell appeared in the air. It was the Eastern Wasteland Bell's true body. Countless runes circulated around it, and images appeared on the bell surface. It was possible to see mountains, plains, birds, 
fish, and beasts. Those were scenes thriving with vitality. It was like the eastern wasteland Bell was its own world. As soon as it appeared, heaven and earth changed color. The world became still. Long Chen realized that no one was capable of moving. Even the King Item's attacks launching through the air came to a stop. Long Chen, have you thought this through? This karma is not so easy to bear, warned the Eastern Wasteland Bell as solemnly as possible. I have. Whatever karma arises because of this, I will bear it. From the moment Little Snow died, I swore I wouldn't restrain myself. I will put my life on the line against my enemies. And if I can give up my life, what else is there to worry about? Long Chen stared at the ancient race statues in front of him, seeing their sinister, cruel smiles. They seemed especially ugly now. All right then. The eastern wasteland bell stopped revolving. Divine light erupted. Spastime returned to normal. Everyone now saw the eastern wasteland bell in the sky releasing boundless pressure. They didn't even know what had happened. This bell had just appeared out of nowhere and was releasing a blinding light. What startled Long Chen was that the divine light the eastern wasteland bell released destroyed all the king items held by the ancient races. Those king items disintegrated along with their masters. 16 half-step kings and 16 king items were destroyed by this divine light. It destroyed anything it met. Its power was incomparable. But Long Chen was disappointed to see that after the eastern wasteland bell had killed the half-step kings, it retracted its divine light and turned into a ray of light over the horizon, disappearing. It didn't return to his mind see. Our agreement is complete. This time, it can count as half a favor. Adding on blocking an attack for you in the immemorial path and sealing little snow's soul into his crystal core. It can count as one complete favor. Don't blame me for not helping you kill them all. It was all for your own good. You'll understand in the future. I've accomplished my end of things. And I have my own matters to attend to. Goodbye. These were the Eastern Wasteland Bell's parting words to Long Chen. Everyone was dumbfounded. Even Ouyang Kiyuayu. They couldn't believe their eyes as 16 half-step kings had instantly vanished. That was too shocking. Men Qi, the first person that received a mental message from Long Chen was Men Qi. She recovered from her shock and rapidly formed hand seals. Stealthy spiritual strength spread throughout the battlefield. The ancient race experts were all dumbfounded. Still stunned upon seeing all their half-step kings being killed. They didn't sense the spiritual strength. Careful. Someone's scheming against us. Suddenly, one of the ancient race experts with powerful spiritual strength sensed something off. The peak of the soul. Dream fall. Menki's spiritual strength erupted. Those ancient race experts were horrified. Their eyelids suddenly became too heavy to hold up. Sleepiness washed over them. They were horrified. If they slept at this time, then they would never wake up again. They all struggled against it. In truth, this soul art contained extremely profound principles. It contained a powerful hypnosis effect. Once a person fell asleep, they would die. The most terrifying thing was that this move could be used silently without powerful spiritual fluctuations. It was even able to hide its fluctuations from protective soul items. If it was used against one person, then even if they had a soul item, they would definitely die. However, for it to be used against thousands of foundation forging experts, it had already displayed its maximum effect. They would only feel a bout of sleepiness for a breath of time. Once they struggled through this one breath, they would escape the soul art. At this moment, Long Chen extended his arms and two streaks of berserk energy shot out. Double dragon destruction. Two dragons twisted around each other, charging through the ancient races. The foundation forging experts didn't have the slightest defense up right now. They were trapped in a daze thanks to Men Qi, and Long Chen's attack struck them head on. The foundation forging experts were blown apart by the two dragons. Blood filled the sky as they wreaked havoc. Of the thousands of foundation forging experts, only 300 managed to live thanks to being on the edge of the battlefield. Dragonblood Legion, kill them all. Don't leave even a single one alive. Long Chen was the first to charge forward. Bloodrinker released a powerful saber image that killed seven foundation forging experts in one blow. Those seven really were unlucky. After escaping from the double dragon destruction's rampage, they hadn't even had time to celebrate their luck before being killed. The ancient race experts recovered, but because they had just escaped Men Qi's terrifying soul art, their heads still weren't in the right state. Tang Wan'er's wind blade slashed through their midst. Gu Yang, Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, Song Mingguan, and Guo Ran were leading the rest of the Dragonblood Legion. They were like hungry wolves, killing them rapidly. The foundation forging experts were horrified. They still didn't even understand what was happening. Their half-step kings had been killed. 
and now thousands of them had been slain. They couldn't believe their eyes. After escaping from Menki Soul Art, they saw only a few of them remaining. They didn't even know if they were still dreaming. It was at that moment that the merciless blade struck. Many of them died without even knowing what had happened. The world had transformed suddenly. Even once they became ghosts, they would still be confused ghosts. Don't let them escape shouted Long Chen upon seeing some of the foundation forging experts start fleeing in terror. Four huge figures appeared. Three waves of dragon breath and a ray of divine light blew apart the foundation forging experts that had just fled a few miles. Perhaps a foundation forging expert could block one earth dragon's fire breath, but they couldn't block the combined attack of three earth dragons and one Riday sacred blood phoenix. They were instantly blown apart. The ones that were fleeing were killed by the magical beasts. The ones still fighting were being hacked to death. Many of them died to the Dragon Blood Warrior's blades. The Dragon Blood Warriors had completely stabilized their realm after that huge battle just now. They were accustomed to their new explosive power. The ordinary Dragon Blood Warriors were rank 3 Celestials, while the squad leaders were all rank 4 Celestials. Most terrifying of all, they had all consumed the 10,000 Spirit Blood, and they possessed the Spirit Blood that matched them perfectly. Although it wasn't as dense as Menki and the others. Once it was activated, their spirit blood's power was still incomparably terrifying. With this many people activating their spirit blood at the same time, even foundation forging experts couldn't stop them. Fuck I didn't even get one. You damn wolves. Some of the dragon blood warriors had moved too slowly and had their paths blocked by their brothers. Haha, <laughs> our achievements are your achievements too. Oh, this fellow is still alive. I won't fight with you over him. You really are my good brother. That person killed a foundation forging expert that was half dead and bragged. Haha, <laughs> who dares to look down on me? I'm a man who has killed a foundation forging expert. TCH, don't act so shameless. Boss killed that many half step kings, but did he brag at all? Said the other disdainfully. Oh, young Kiyuayu and the other members of the Zuanshan Dao sect simply watched this scene, unable to say a word for a long time. Seeing the Dragon Blood Warriors cheerfully talking and joking as they cut down the ancient race experts, they were unable to wrap their heads around this reality. Once all the foundation forging experts had been killed, the Dragon Blood Warriors began cleaning up the battlefield. Guo Ran was going around, gathering the broken pieces of the king items. His eyes had turned blue with greed. These king item fragments were the treasures he needed the most at this moment. Long Chen, this time, you really caused a huge calamity. Oh young Kiyuayu finally recovered from her shock. She sighed. However, it's fine. No matter how big of a calamity you cause, I will help you bear it. The truth is said Long Chen. There's no need to say anything. I finally understand why you would kill so many of those ancient race bastards in the immemorial path. If I was still my young self, I'd also kill them all. But this is also good. After so many years, I, oh young Kiyuayu, can finally taste the flavor of causing trouble. Oh young Kiyuayu smiled as if she was returning to the springtime of her youth. The battle was over and the spoils were gathered. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples silently looked at Long Chen with worship and passion. Long Chen was amazing. What do you plan on doing now? Asked Oh young Kiyuayu. She couldn't figure out what Long Chen was thinking. The matter of the corrupt path and ancient races has been handled. Now it should be the turn of the righteous path. Back then. I intentionally let Ji Chang Kong off just to make this matter livelier. Just killing him isn't enough to resolve my hatred. I needed an excuse to destroy the entire Remote Heaven Gang, said Long Chen. Then are we going to kill our way to the Remote Heaven Gang now? Asked Oh Young Kiyuayu. No, I need to give them some time to gather all their people and gather all the power of the Eastern Wasteland's righteous path. I need to wait until they smear my name and condemn me, said Long Chen indifferently. Isn't that a bit too vicious? Do you know how large the Remote Heaven Gang is? With their power, they can gather practically all the Righteous Paths experts, as well as all their disciples, said Oh Young Kiyuayu. So what? retorted Long Chen. Oh Young Kiyuayu's scalp turned numb. Some people are just being used by the Remote Heaven Gang and don't know the truth. They, they're innocent. Is that right? If they don't know the truth, they can indiscriminately kill others without fault? Once they kill others and learn the truth. They can just say sorry I didn't know and the matter is settled? There are no innocent people in this world. Do those ignorant people not have brains? In any case, I don't care. No matter how many the remote heaven gang gathers to handle me, they're all my enemies, and I'll kill them all. Sect master, if you have any misjivings, you don't have to participate in this matter, said Long Chen. 
What nonsense. Am I someone who just gives up halfway? If you want to kill them, then Big Sister will accompany you, said Ouyang Kiyuayu. Long Chen smiled slightly. Looking at the slightly insulted Ouyang Kiyuayu, he felt a burst of warmth. This world still had many people worthy of trust. Chapter 943 Devil Execution Conference Translator Born to be if only I had known how monstrous the Eastern Wasteland Bell was before, I should have planned things out properly. Long Chen had a face of regret as he sat in a private room. Who would have thought that the broken, practically crumbling apart Eastern Wasteland Bell would be so terrifying? It killed half-step kings without the slightest effort, and king items were nothing more than toys to it. The Eastern Wasteland Bell was incredibly powerful. Right now, his strongest trump card had disappeared, but he still hadn't gotten his revenge on Ji Chang Kong. He couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed. If only he could have drawn over the ancient races and the remote heaven gang together, he could have had the Eastern Wasteland Bell handle them all at the same time. But regret had no use. The Eastern Wasteland Bell had already left. He didn't even know if he would ever see it again. Furthermore, there was something else that made him jittery. When he had advanced to see expansion, that mysterious voice hadn't appeared. The pill formula for the fifth star of the nine star hegemon body art also hadn't appeared. Could it be that the fifth star required him to reach foundation forging first? The nine star hegemon body art was completely different from the other cultivation techniques he knew of. He couldn't cultivate like others, making him feel unsure of what he was supposed to do. He still knew too little about the nine star hegemon body art. The fortunate thing was that other than the nine star hegemon body art, he also had the dragon blood body tempering art. The green dragon battle armor that he could summon was now his strongest trump card. Long Chen. Suddenly, the stone door to his room was pushed open. Oh Young Kiyuai walked in and sat in front of him. Is there any news? Asked Long Chen. The entire eastern wasteland is in upheaval. Sighed Oh Young Kiyuai. How could it not be? The ancient races had moved out in full force to suppress the Zhuanshan Dao sect but as a result, they had been annihilated. In truth, back then, the ancient races had intentionally drawn other people's attention when they had moved out. Their excursion had been supposed to be a display of their might. Countless people had been around and had activated photographic jade so that they could record the sight of the Zhuanshan Dao sect being destroyed. However, they had never imagined that what they would record was something even more shocking than the destruction of the Zhuanshan Dao sect. The entire eastern wasteland had been thrown into a state of panic, especially those smaller powers of the Zhuanshan Dao sect that had sided with the remote heaven gang. Each day, they had lived in fear that the Zhuanshan Dao sect would find them to settle the bill. The most fearful one would have to be the remote heaven gang. Those who had committed shameful deeds were always the most terrified. Right now, the remote heaven gang was like an overturned nest of ants. They were doing everything they could to draw in other powers. It was unknown what methods they were using. As Long Chen's vicious methods shook the eastern wasteland, the remote heaven gang managed to gather the majority of the powers within the eastern wasteland. Long Chen. Do you really have the confidence? Oh young Kiyuaya was worried. Although she didn't know the Eastern Wasteland Bell's origin and she hadn't asked, it was clear that the Eastern Wasteland Bell had left after that one attack. She had seen that clearly. The Eastern Wasteland Bell's power had surpassed her understanding, but she knew such a divine weapon wasn't something that would accept someone like Long Chen as a master. Otherwise, it would be under his control now. It was obvious from its departure that it had only agreed to help Long Chen once. That was why Ouyang Kiyuaya was worried. Long Chen shook his head. Nope. My strongest trump card is gone. Then why don't we slow things down and just wait a bit? Advised Ouyang Kiyuaya. Long Chen was too ruthless. She had already alerted the head sect about this matter using a special spiritual message. They would quickly send experts to handle this matter. In Ouyang Kiyuaya's opinion, the smartest decision was to wait for the head sect's experts to arrive. After all, Long Chen had used up his trump card. If the remote heaven gang had some unknown trump cards, it would be over for them. I understand. Sect master call me big sister, said Ouyang Kiyuayu. All right, big sister. I understand what you're saying, but it's useless. Long Chen shook his head. What is useless? I don't understand. Long Chen sighed. In truth, during the immemorial path, I was always careful and tried not to make enemies or provoke anyone who didn't provoke me. I did my best to protect my people. But when the time came, I was still surrounded by enemies. I was cautious. I was reserved. But I still caused little snow to die. This time, I've finally seen through who my true enemy is. It is these damn heavens. No matter how I scheme, 
I can't outscheme the heavens. So now I can't be bothered to scheme, nor do I care about other people's schemes. I want to find my original mental state. I no longer trust in using smarts to handle my problems. I will only trust my power. I need to find my old self, that young, impetuous, and a bit foolish self that was full of hot blood. I have no schemes. I will simply bring my brothers to slaughter our enemies. If we encounter a mountain, we'll split it. If we encounter a river, it will part for us. And if our lives aren't hardy enough to survive, then we can all die together. Eighteen years later, we'll have reincarnated and gathered back together, once more rising up to battle our enemies. Long Chen's eyes shone with a determined light. He found that as his cultivation base increased, he had begun to lose his old self. If he had been vicious enough in the beginning, if he had paid any price to kill his opponents as soon as he had encountered them, who would still dare to provoke him? Right now, what he needed to be was a madman, a bloodthirsty, merciless man. He would make all his enemies terrified of him, making it so no one dared to form the slightest bit of hostility against him. He was extremely calm now. He no longer bothered scheming against his opponent's trump cards. He couldn't outscheme the heavens, so there was no point. His choice was to use the simplest, most direct method. Fight with his life on the line. Little Snow's death had made him clearly see the essence of cultivation. All resources and opportunities were gained through killing and fighting. Since he had stepped onto the cultivation path, he couldn't be kind or soft. That would cause his own death. If it only caused his own death, then fine. But foolish kindness would also cause his people's deaths as well. That was the most foolish part of it. Big sister, you don't have to go with me. I in truth, this isn't just for you. These thousand years of life were like a dream. I've seen people be born, mature, grow old, and die. I've seen joy, and I've seen sadness. I've seen twisted faces and ugly affairs. I've experienced much big sister. Are you tired of living? Long Chen was startled. Brat, I'm living quite happily. How could I want to die? Oh young Kiyuayu glared at him. Then that's good. After all, I don't have big sister's experience are you saying I'm old? Oh young Kiyuayu's glare became even more vicious. No, no, definitely not. Long Chen flapped his hand. If not, then shut your mouth. You really are becoming more and more irritating. I don't know how you seduced those two beautiful girls. When I say I've experienced a great deal, what I mean is that it's like I've been playing chess for hundreds of years. The chessboard is completely chaotic now. The reason I can only touch the barrier but am unable to become a half-step king is because of this. That's why I'm prepared to go cause some trouble with you. By changing my mentality and viewing my path through another viewpoint, I want to see if I can use that opportunity to become a half-step king, said Oh Young Kiyuayu. Why just half-step king and not a full king? asked Long Chen. Oh Young Kiyuayu sadly shook her head. It's not so easy. My spirit blood isn't pure enough. Half-step king is my limit. So that's what it is. Long Chen came to a sudden comprehension of why all those rank 4 celestials would submit to Zhu Yu, Yu Changheo, and the others. It was all because of the purity of their spirit blood. Two people could both be rank 4 celestials, but without pure enough spirit blood, a person's cultivation base would forever be limited to half-step king. Only people like Zhu Yu and the others were able to cross that barrier and become true kings. I would have forgotten about this if you hadn't reminded me. Here, Long Chen took out a small bottle. Inside was only a single drop of blood. This is, 10,000 spirit blood. Oh Young Kiyuaya was shocked. Correct. You already possess spirit blood. So this 10,000 spirit blood can make it even purer, allowing you to cross the barrier and become a king eventually. Long Chen smiled. I, oh Young Kiyuaya's expression was complicated as she looked at it. You should hurry and refine it. This 10,000 spirit blood is exceptionally profound. It actually contains a trace of heaven and earth's laws, which will make it easier for you to comprehend the heavenly deos. Oh young Kiyuaya was silent for a long time before she finally accepted the 10,000 spirit blood. She entered seclusion. Long Chen also gave another drop of 10,000 spirit blood to Shu Wuhan. He trusted the two of them. This 10,000 spirit blood was incredibly important. It could activate a person's spirit blood and was a heaven-defying treasure that could allow people to draw out their own attributes potential. Lord Heavenly had essentially sacrificed hundreds of thousands of aboriginals to obtain this 10,000 spirit blood for him. So Long Chen viewed it as exceptionally precious. Other than Ouyang Kiyuayu and Shu Wuhan, he didn't share it with anyone else. The reason Ouyang Kiyuayu was so moved wasn't just because of the 10,000 spirit blood, but also because Long Chen had shared its secret existence with her. 
Now she understood why the Dragonblood Legion was so terrifying. In truth, she didn't know that the reason the Dragonblood Legion was so powerful was because of a combination of the 10,000 Spirit Blood, Heavenly Deo Fruits, and Divine Mortal Molting Elixir. The days passed one by one. Long Chen kept a close eye over the state of affairs within the Eastern Wasteland. Finally, he received an invitation. Devil Execution Conference. Long Chen's mouth curled into a disdainful smile. He directly ripped the invitation to shreds. Guo Ran, alert the sect master. We're moving out. Long Chen looked into the distance. I see killing intent in his eyes. Ji Chang Kong, I've given you plenty of time to prepare. Don't disappoint me. Chapter 944 Condemnation of the Eastern Wasteland Translator Born to be the entire Eastern Wasteland was trembling because of one name. That name was Long Chen. Devil King Long Chen. His name had spread throughout every corner of the Eastern Wasteland. Any place with people knew Long Chen's name. Whether it was the cultivation world or the secular world, he was a topic mentioned over and over. Everyone discussed this strange figure. There were even many people that went to the Phoenix Cry Empire to investigate him. However, the majority of those people's questions were not nice ones. Some people's investigation concluded that having been bullied so much in his youth had caused Long Chen's heart to grow twisted, turning him into a bloodthirsty devil king. Then others added fuel to the fire, painting Long Chen as an unreasonable fiend, an immoral criminal. There were even some who said Long Chen had already joined the corrupt path. He definitely had some sort of relationship with them. When that theory was released, many people had retorted, arguing that Long Chen wouldn't do such a thing. Hadn't he fought against the corrupt path so fiercely in the immemorial path? In fact, hadn't he joined hands with the experts of the immemorial path to slaughter tens of thousands of elites from the corrupt path? However, those retorts were drowned by countless louder screams. In fact, those questioning people were threatened to stay silent. Some even disappeared from the world. As a result, the Eastern Wasteland's public opinion was that Long Chen was a cruel devil king with a twisted heart. But this devil king was too strong and he only grew stronger. Not only had he slaughtered the corrupt path's experts, but he had also exterminated the ancient race's army. Now, his fiendish hand was stretching toward their righteous path. He was intent on overturning the eastern wasteland. Just at this time, the era's hero appeared. That hero was the remote heaven gang. They couldn't bear to see the righteous path destroyed, and to avoid the loss of innocent lives, they sent out invitation cards for a devil execution conference. They invited all the brave warriors beneath the heavens to join hands to slay the devil in the name of the righteous path, returning the cultivation world to its old brilliance. And today was the day of the devil execution conference. The remote heaven gang was extremely lively as tens of thousands of sects arrived. Millions of righteous experts had gathered. The remote heaven plaza was full of an unprecedented number of righteous heroes. Looking at the packed plaza, Ji Chang Kong smiled. He said, the old patriarch truly is amazing. He was able to gather practically all the experts in the eastern wasteland. But of course, Chang Kong, you're looking down on our remote heaven gang's foundation. Although we were low-key during the past years, in truth, we were just patiently developing. After thousands of years of planning, all the various sects higher-ups have our remote heaven gang's people in them. There are even some sects that are completely under our control. It was all in preparation for today. We'll use this chance to force the Zhuanshan Deo sect out of the Eastern Wasteland. No matter how strong the Zhuanshan Deo sect is, it's not like they can kill all of the Eastern Wasteland's righteous path, said the master of the remote heaven gang, Ji Hongling. That Long Chen really was terrifying. He actually had such a trump card. A bit of fright appeared on Ji Chang Kong's face. He had seen the images of Long Chen unleashing the Eastern Wasteland bell. If Long Chen had used it against them in the immemorial path, he would have been dead. You don't need to worry. That's definitely a weapon beyond the king item level. Its spirit item should be too proud to accept Long Chen as its master. It left right after attacking, meaning Long Chen only had an agreement with it to help once. Fortunately, that one time was used on the ancient races. Now our remote heaven gang can use this devil execution conference to kill Long Chen and drive off the Zhuantan Deo sect then the eastern wasteland will be the remote heaven gangs. In other words, it'll be our Ji family's land. A pleased and sinister smile appeared on Ji Hongling's wrinkled face. It was like she could already see the side of the remote heaven gang dominating the eastern wasteland. Do you think Long Chen will come? He kept hiding within the Zhuanshan Deo sect before this. It seems he really is out of trump cards and doesn't dare to go out, said Ji Chang Kong. Whether or not he comes, 
the result will be the same. We've gathered practically all the Eastern Wasteland's righteous path. The Patriarch even invited some friends who had been in seclusion for a thousand years. Killing Long Chen and the others will be as easy as turning a hand. HMPH. If my guess is right, it should be that the Zhuangshan Dao sect is afraid and has asked for assistance from their head sect they're waiting for reinforcements. Once those reinforcements arrive, this matter won't be so simple. But did Oh Young Kiyuai really think that I, Ji Hongling, would give her that chance? What a joke. During the Devil Execution Conference today, we'll show the righteous path the evidence of Long Chen colluding with the Aboriginals. Then with a bit more proof and sworn testimony, we'll make sure everyone knows Long Chen is an absolute villain. In any case, public opinion is under our control. As long as we wave the banner of heroically killing a devil, killing Long Chen is easy. If Oh Young Kiyuai tries to stop us, then that means she's protecting a devil. Then can't we just kill her as well? In any case, we have all the proof and testimony we need. Even if their head sect sends people. So what? Do they dare to kill all the Eastern Wasteland's righteous path? Impossible. Once the devil execution conference is over, Long Chen will be dead. And whether or not Oh Young Kiyuai stays alive, the Zhuangshan Dao sect will definitely be torn down. Chang Kong. Remember, strength is important but intelligence is even more important. So what if Long Chen is strong? So what if he encountered amazing opportunities? He's just a slightly stronger weed. No matter how strong he is, can he fight all the Eastern Wasteland's righteous path? To be a hegemon doesn't rely on martial strength. This world has its own rules, and only those who understand those rules can become hegemons. Understood, said Ji Hongling. This child understands, said Ji Chang Kong. No matter how strong one person becomes. So what? Can Long Chen become stronger than our remote heaven gang with its thousands of years of history? The old patriarch has already arranged everything. At that time, Long Chen will die to your hands. So what if you lost to him before? With him personally being killed by you, you will still be the king of the eastern wasteland. With the remote heaven gang behind you, who would dare to fight against you? Sneered Ji Hongling. Ji Chang Kong's eyes brightened. His admiration for his Ji family's patriarch grew more and more. His own little tricks were nothing compared to the patriarch's intelligence. The Ji family's machinations had been set into motion thousands of years ago. Now, they could use Long Chen as an opportunity to erase an enormous existence like the Zhuangshan Dao sect and the head sect would only be able to endure. This was too brilliant. It was an unresolvable scheme. Even if Long Chen knew about it, he couldn't do anything. Those two called Yu Kianchen and Xiao Wuji. Don't waste them reminded Ji Hongling. Don't worry, they surrendered themselves to us a long time ago. They can also see that the Zhuangshan Dao sect is doomed. All the proof has been prepared. Some of it is stuff even I never expected. He, laughed Ji Chang Kong. Xiao Wuji and the others from the Zhuangshan Dao sect were the best people to testify against the Zhuangshan Dao sect good. Keep them around for now, and when this matter is over, wait for an opportunity to make them disappear forever. The remote heaven gang doesn't need such trash. Disdain appeared in Ji Hongling's eyes. She clearly looked down upon Xiao Wuji and the others. Understood. Ji Chang Kong nodded. A sea of people was present within the remote heaven plaza. Even some figures that hadn't appeared in public for centuries had appeared. At first, these sects had been worried about how terrifying Long Chen was. But the remote heaven gang was smart. And they released a list of sects for them. When those people read through the list of sects participating in this. Their terror diminished a great deal. Now, they were just waiting for everyone to present their evidence and views of Long Chen. Was he a devil who deserved the death penalty? Or could he be saved? Seeing the millions of righteous experts that had gathered here, they were completely at ease. With this many experts present, they knew Long Chen wouldn't dare to do anything. Furthermore, the remote heaven gang had also promised that this was just a gathering of people, and everything had already been properly prepared. So their safety was guaranteed and they could also get a favor from the remote heaven gang. Most importantly, there were few sects that had dared to not come. If they did offend the remote heaven gang, then considering their methods, the offender would probably end tragically. All the eastern wasteland's righteous powers had essentially gathered. In a few days, the Zhuangshan Dao sect would no longer exist in the eastern wasteland. Heavens, even the remote heaven gang's old patriarch has appeared. Clamor erupted as several figures appeared on the stage in front of the plaza. The person at the front was an extremely old elder whose hair was completely white. He was practically a living fossil. His cultivation base had reached the half-step king realm. Heavens, 
that seems to be the strange Pete Gates founder. He's still alive, and he's also a half-step king. Isn't that nature Crane Valley's he minks it oh? I hear he's been in seclusion for a thousand years. Startled cries rang out as people saw eight elders, all illustrious and famous old figures. The eight of them were all half-step kings. Ji Chang Kong now slowly walked up the stage. He bowed toward the eight of them, and then turning to face everyone, he announced, Today's devil execution conference is to get justice for the countless fallen heroes of the righteous path. Our eastern wasteland's righteous path embodies the meaning of morality and integrity. Its brilliance lit up the world. But now, a heretic like Long Chen has appeared. He was shameless to the peak, ruthless and vicious, and colluded with the immemorial path's aboriginals to kill people from his own sect. He then colluded with the corrupt path and there are suspicions that his bumpy childhood caused his heart to be twisted, leaving behind a heavy shadow. It was unknown just who wrote this speech, but it was incredibly passionate and descriptive. It painted Long Chen as an irredeemable fiend who had committed innumerable crimes. Comma today, my remote heaven gang is upholding justice, using the devil execution conference to gather our righteous path to eliminate the traitor and return the righteous path to its old brilliance. Ji Chang Kong raised his fist into the air. Eliminate the traitor and return the righteous path to its old brilliance. Eliminate the traitor and return the righteous path to its old brilliance. Eliminate the traitor and return the righteous path to its old brilliance. The huge crowd of righteous experts cheered so loudly that their faces turned red. The cheering of hundreds of thousands of people was truly grand. When did the righteous path ever have any brilliance? How is it that I, Long Chen, have never heard of such a thing? A mocking voice rang out, causing everyone's hearts to shake. They all turned to look. Chapter 945 Five Heart Living Lotus Translator Born to be it was like the crowd's passionate cries were cut off by a knife. A group of people walked grandly into the remote heaven gang. It's the Zhuangshan Dao sect's people. The whole nest came out? Are they going for a decisive battle? When Long Chen led over a hundred thousand of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples over, it caused countless cries to resonate. HMPH. Only one hundred thousand people. We've gathered all the eastern wasteland's righteous path. So exterminating them is as easy as turning a hand. Sneered someone. The current Zhuangshan Dao sect was no longer the old Zhuangshan Dao sect. The corrupt path sneak attack had heavily injured their core. The 36 super monasteries took heavy damage. Thus, these hundred thousand disciples were the Zhuangshan Dao sect's full force. Originally, Long Chen had only been planning on leading the Dragonblood Legion to this battle, but he hadn't succeeded. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's 36 super monasteries and all their subordinate monasteries had moved out in full force except for some people to look after their sects. They had all heard of what Long Chen had encountered in the immemorial path. As for the corrupt path sneak attack, although they had no proof it was due to a collusion between the corrupt path and the remote heaven gang, there was a 90% chance that it was. After paying that painful price, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's experts had finally erupted. This matter had provoked the fury within them. They decided to advance and retreat with Long Chen. Even if they knew that they might never return after advancing, they had still come. Long Chen also hadn't expected the Zhuangshan Dao sect to possess such passion when pushed to the brink of despair. He really hadn't been able to tell before that these disciples possessed such courage. Long Chen and Ouyang Qiuai walked side by side, and behind them were Men Qi, Tang Wanur, Wild, and the others. Behind them were the Dragonblood Warriors. After the baptism of that large battle, they were like unsheathed blades. The killing intent coming off of them had almost taken solid form. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's experts were behind them. However, these disciples were all very weak. There were quite a few that had only reached meridian opening, and some were only just bone-forging disciples although their cultivation bases were very low. They were fearless in the face of millions of experts. They all held their weapons tightly, their eyes icy cold. Brazen Long Chen, you irredeemable brood. Udare Zianshan expert was the first to begin cursing at Long Chen. With a point from Guo Ran, a golden ray killed him. Bastard, you another person was killed by Guo Ran. At the top of the stage, Ji Chang Kong shouted, Long Chen, as expected, you are brutal and vicious. Even when others point out your crimes, you simply kill them cruelly. Do you think you can keep your crimes quiet? Even if you kill a hundred people, a thousand people, or even ten thousand people, can you kill all the Eastern Wasteland's Righteous Paths experts? Do you think the saber in your hand can extinguish the righteousness in people's hearts? In the Immemorial Path, this is exactly how you killed the Righteous Paths experts. You are a savage fiend. 
Has everyone seen it clearly? This is exactly how mercilessly he attacked the people of his own sect. Ji Chang Kong was delighted to see Long Chen arrive, but he put on a righteous expression, passionately stirring the flames. Ji Hongling was the first to start a cheer with the remote heaven gang's experts. Kill Long Chen. Kill Long Chen. Kill Long Chen. These ignorant people all looked as if they would only be happy once Long Chen was killed. Gu Yang and the others clenched their fists. Even the always peaceful Men Qi was angered. Surprisingly, Long Chen was the only one with an indifferent expression. He didn't even look at those people who had been bought by the remote heaven gang. He icily stared at Ji Chang Kong. Not bad. This field is bigger than last time. But this shouldn't be all of it. Long Chen, don't try to talk your way out of this. No matter what you say, you can't talk your way out of the fact that you colluded with the aboriginals to kill people of the Aridius path. If you don't die today, there'll be no way to pacify the souls who died because of you. The devil execution conference is being held just for you. I really didn't think you'd come, but that's also good. I'll publicly list your innumerable crimes so you're convinced, sneered Ji Chang Kong. He cast a glance to a certain person. Dozens of experts immediately walked out. When they appeared, an uproar erupted amongst the Zhuangshan Dao sect's experts. Those people were the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. The people at the front used to be part of the four heavenly geniuses, Xiao Wuji and Yu Kai Anshan. Xiao Wuji, Yu Kai Anshan. You traitors actually joined the remote heaven gang. These two had been the Zhuangshan Dao sect's peerless geniuses. They had countless worshippers and followers. Now seeing the people they had worshipped be so lacking in integrity as to join the remote heaven gang. Curses rained down upon them. HMPH. What do you understand? We renounced the darkness to join the light. The Zhuangshan Dao sect is evil and is harboring a criminal like Long Chen. That's the height of foolishness. And what we did wasn't join the remote heaven gang. Instead, we're standing up for the righteous path. In front of everyone, we'll testify to Long Chen's crimes. The higher-ups from the Zhuangshan Dao sect. Are you all blind? Can you not see how fake this criminal is? It seems there really is no need for the Zhuangshan Dao sect to exist any longer. Sneered Xiao Wuji. You, Xiao Wuji and Yu Kai Anshan had clearly betrayed them. But they still acted so sanctimoniously. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's people clenched their teeth. The monastery heads who had raised them were so furious that they quivered. Long Chen, in the immemorial path, you raked and looted, not shrinking from any crime. And Xiao Wuji started a steady stream of words that he seemed to know by heart. Wait a moment. If you want to kill me, there's no need to make it so complicated. Let me first ask, are all of you sure you want to stand there? Long Chen interrupted Xiao Wuji and looked at the Zhuangshan Dao sect disciples behind him. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. We were forced. We cried one of them. Courting death. One of the remote heaven gang experts expression changed. He immediately charged over and let out a punch. Wanting to kill that person. Suddenly. A translucent. Icy sword key flew over. Accurately landing on that person's body. That person transformed into ice and then shattered. A foundation forging expert was killed in one blow. My Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples can't be killed by someone like you. Said Ouyang Qiuayu icily. As soon as Ouyang Qiuayu attacked, seven of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples ran over to Long Chen's side. Half-step king. The remote heaven gang's patriarch didn't particularly care about those people. It was Ouyang Qiuayu who drew most of his attention. He had long since investigated her and knew that she was stuck at the peak of foundation forging. When had she become a half-step king? Sect master. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen. Please get us justice. These bastards. They. One of them knelt down in front of Ouyang Qiuayu and began to weep. As soon as we exited the immemorial path, Ji Chang Kong, Xiao Wuji, and Yu Kai Anshan forced us to join the remote heaven gang. The senior apprentice brothers who refused were killed right there and then. They are the real broods. Ouyang Qiuayu's expression sank. At first, she had also been curious as to why other than Long Chen's people, none of the other disciples had returned. Now she understood. Xiao Wuji, Yu Kai Anshan. You should still remember the number one punishment of the Zhuangshan Dao sect's law enforcement hall. Ouyang Qiuayu glared at them hatefully. The two of them had not only betrayed them, but they had forced the others to defect as well. Furthermore, they had personally slaughtered people from their sect that was inexcusable. Xiao Wuji and Yu Kai Anshan's expressions changed. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's number one punishment was something even traitors wouldn't normally receive. Only people like them who had betrayed the sect and killed people while doing so had the qualifications to enjoy it. 
The Zhuangshan Dao sect's number one punishment was called the Five Heart Living Lotus. It sounded like a very refined name, but those who knew what it meant all got chills upon hearing it. Normally, one would think the five hearts referred to the two palms, two feet, and heart. But the Zhuangshan Dao sect's five hearts didn't include the real heart. Instead, the fifth heart referred to the heart of the head, or the space between a person's eyebrows. A heart-piercing lotus seed was planted in each of those five spots. It was said that this lotus seed originated from hell. It was only able to survive off other people's bodies. During that process, it would extract a person's soul and blood to nourish itself. Furthermore, the person infected with the lotus would feel endless pain during this process. The lotus would take root within the body, and the pain was indescribable. This kind of pain was enough to cause a person to die. But because a seed would be planted in the head as well, it would cause a strange cycle. It made it so a person could die, but they would still feel every little bit of the pain. The most terrifying thing was that the lotus would feed the energy back to the heart. It allowed a person to live three times longer than normal. This was the Zhuangshan Dao sect's cruelest punishment. It had only been used a few times in all of history. Unless a person was completely evil, it wouldn't be used. Even those who betrayed the sect were normally just killed instead of being inflicted with this punishment. But today, Oh Young Kiyuayu was truly infuriated. Oh Young Kiyuayu, you really are despicable. Do you think using a soul art to control a few disciples would be enough to invert black and white? Laughable. Do you think the righteous disciples are idiots? Ji Chang Kong hastily took Xiao Wuji's place to respond when he saw that he was terrified. Oh Young Kiyuayu, you're too shameless and despicable. A person like you can be a sect master? Garbage. A garbage sect master and a garbage sect. Exactly. Such a sect is just garbage. The existence that raised a devil like Long Chen definitely isn't anything good and should be destroyed with him. With a subtle hint from Ji Chang Kong, countless people began to furiously roar, cursing Oh Young Kiyuayu. She trembled from rage, having an urge to slaughter them all. Die. Surprisingly, Long Chen suddenly roared. It was like the roar of a god, and it contained his powerful spiritual strength. Chapter 946 King's Descent Translator Born to be those crazily cursing experts received a blow from some unknown energy, and their heads exploded. The spiritual strength contained in Long Chen's roar had followed their voices back to the source. Those people in the midst of shouting were instantly locked down by his spiritual strength. In truth, the majority of those people shouting belonged to the remote heaven gang. They had simply hidden themselves in the crowd to control the atmosphere. As a result, over a thousand people were killed. Those people didn't have high cultivation basis. They had mostly been at the Xianchen realm or below, and they were simply shouting for effect. Long Chen, you demon, this merciless slaughtering of the righteous path just further proves that you need to be put down, shouted the remote heaven gang's patriarch. A war flag appeared in his hands, and that flag had the immortal character for remote on it. That was the remote heaven gang's top treasure. Its history could be traced back to the ancient era. The reason the remote heaven gang was called that was precisely because of this flag. The remote heaven flag flapped. Heaven and earth changed color as a powerful pressure descended upon Long Chen. I've long since wanted to see the power of your remote heaven gang's protective treasure. Oh Young Kiyuayu sneered and took out the heaven catching drum. Booming sound filled the air as the heaven catching drum began to fight against the remote heaven war flag. The Zhuangshan Dao sect is pig headed and harboring a devil king. Everyone. We must suppress these villains, shouted the patriarch to the other half-step kings. Oh Young Kiyuayu, your Zhuangshan Dao sect really is intolerable. Do you think you can control the entire eastern wasteland? HMPH, to protect the righteous path, don't blame us for using numbers to bully you, sneered one of the other half-step kings. Along with the other six half-step kings, they took out king items. Boundless pressure descended upon Oh Young Kiyuayu. Brothers, kill every last person here said Long Chen. He was just about to erupt with all his power and see if he could block a king item's attack. Stop. Suddenly, a cold shout rang out from the sky, shaking everyone's eardrums. People felt like the world had lost its color, as if time had paused because of that shout. Everyone was shocked and hurriedly raised their heads. They saw a white-robed elder in the sky standing with his hands clasped behind his back. The elder was tall and skinny. He wore fiery red clothes and there was an image of a pill cauldron on his chest. That pill cauldron had a beautiful mountain valley carved onto it. Although others didn't sense anything from him, Oh Young Kiyuayu and the other half-step kings were all appalled. King Realm, that person's aura was reserved so it wasn't possible to tell his cultivation base. 
but the fluctuations of heaven and earth all turned sluggish due to his appearance. Only half-step kings were able to sense this person's terror. Is the righteous path so energetic that it can afford to kill its own people? Asked that elder furiously. Senior comes from Pill Valley? Excellent. Please get justice for our righteous path. The remote heaven gang's patriarch hastily cupped his fists and vowed. In truth, he was filled with regret. He knew that even if they exterminated the Zhuangshan Dao sect because of Long Chen, the Zhuangshan Dao sect's head sect still wasn't something they could offend. And so he had intentionally spread the news of the Devil Execution Conference in advance to some larger powers. One of those was Pill Valley. According to his plan, Pill Valley and the others should have only arrived after Long Chen was killed. They were there to be witnesses. And when the Zhuangshan Dao sect's people arrived, they wouldn't be able to do anything. But no matter how meticulous the plan was, accidents always occurred. He hadn't expected Pill Valley's experts to arrive so quickly. It threw a wrench in his plans, but he could only force his way through this unexpected situation and have the Pill Valley's king take charge. The appearance of a king immediately caused the scene to calm down. Even Long Chen hadn't expected kings to appear. Now it was troublesome. Long Chen wasn't afraid of half-step kings, but he definitely didn't have a chance against a king. Oh Young Kiyu had told him just how big the difference between a half-step king and a king was. It was an unbridgeable gap. At this time, over ten men and women flew over as well, all wearing Pill Valley's robes. They all appeared very young. There were seven golden lines at the front of their chests. That caused Long Chen to be extremely startled. Seven lines represented that they could refine seventh-tier medicinal pills. And their cultivation bases were all at the late sea expansion. Some were even at the peak. Those people stood behind the elder, icily looking at the people below. Their eyes were full of arrogance, as if they were looking at ants. However, with such a high cultivation base and the ability to refine seventh-tier pills, they had the qualifications to be arrogant. Long Chen, do you know your sins? The Pill Valley's king shouted at Long Chen. Senior shut up. This isn't somewhere you can speak, said the king, cutting off O Young Kiyu's words. O Young Kiyu was enraged. He was going too far. Even without investigating the rights and wrongs of the matter, he directly interrogated Long Chen. This was completely unfair. Long Chen, do you know your crimes? He shouted again. But this time a powerful pressure crashed down on Long Chen. Does it have a damn to do with you? In fact, none of this has anything to do with you. Did you run out without taking your medicine this morning? Said Long Chen. Arrogant brat. Absolutely courting death. Master, let me go out and kill this brat. The disciples from Pill Valley immediately shouted furiously, ready to attack Long Chen immediately. HMPH, as expected, you are arrogant and don't know what respect is. No wonder all I heard on the way was how presumptuous you were and how you colluded against your own sect just looking at you is disgusting. There's no need to waste so many words. Follow me back to Pill Valley, said the king. He was just about to take action when fierce spatial fluctuations appeared. Sorry. But it seems this matter isn't just up to your pill valley. Otherwise, the face of the central plains ancient races will be lost. A black-robed man appeared. He had two horns on his head, and his long hair fell naturally. There were faint flames within his eyes. Space began to violently twist because of his appearance. Everyone was startled. Another king had appeared. What do you think you're doing? Asked the pill valley's king. The black-robed man wasn't servile nor overbearing against him. Long Chen used despicable methods to slaughter my ancient race's experts. The Alliance Master has ordered me to investigate. So unfortunately, I cannot allow you to bring him away. The Pill Valley's king was clearly intimidated upon hearing that. Sorry to arrive late. This Long Chen killed too many of my ancient family Alliance's disciples. Lord D. Long has ordered me to capture him alive. Just at this moment, a flying boat appeared in the sky. The boat was put away, revealing a middle-aged man. Three kings had now appeared. Oh young Kiyuaya was shocked. She didn't understand how this matter had drawn all of them over. After all, she had long since asked the head sect for reinforcements. But those reinforcements still hadn't arrived before these three kings. Oh young Kiyuaya didn't know that the remote heaven gang's patriarch had long since released the news. He had calculated everything properly. But there had still been a slight mistake. The three kings were truly too fast. Seniors. Long Chen committed innumerable vile crimes. It is better to execute him to get justice for the righteous path. And Ji Chang Kong rose and vowed. As a generation's expert, he wanted to express himself. After all, the three of them were kings. If they were to take a liking to him, he would be like a fish that leaped over the dragon gate.
He was unwilling to stay forever in the remote heaven gang. Shut up. This is not a place you can speak. Who do you think you are? Shouted a young man from Pill Valley. Ji Chang Kong was infuriated, but he didn't say anything. He simply smiled slightly. Men Qi and the others were all nervous. They hadn't expected this matter to develop to this point. It was troublesome now with three kings. The three kings didn't say anything for a while as they stood in the air. From their eyes, it was possible to see that they were communicating with spiritual strength. After a long while, the Pill Valley's king announced, We have decided to first bring away the criminal known as Long Chen. He extended his hand, just about to attack. Ha 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 ha. Long Chen suddenly raised his head and laughed. That laughter was full of disdain. Brazen criminal, you still dare to be brazen with death waiting for you, shouted one of Pill Valley's disciples. A pair of wings appeared on his back, and a terrifying heat roasted the sky. Four colored runes revolved around him. A huge flame spear pierced toward Long Chen, arriving in front of him in an instant. It was as quick as lightning and contained a terrifying aura. This one attack shocked everyone. Bang. Pow. A scale-covered hand shattered the flame spear and another hand slapped across that person's face. Chapter 947 Expert Reinforcements Translator Born to be blood splashed. That Pill Valley disciple's head exploded and a translucent figure shot back. This slap had destroyed his physical body. Only his soul escaped. That was the terror of alchemists. Even when their physical bodies were destroyed, their souls could exist independently. They were different from ordinary experts. Alchemists cultivated spiritual strength. Even after losing their bodies, they could unleash powerful spiritual attacks. Bastard, you destroyed my physical body. I'll kill you, your entire family. Your that person's roar was cut off by a lightning arrow. His soul exploded. Okay, I'll kill you instead. Long Chen had intentionally been merciful just now. He knew that even if he destroyed his physical body, this alchemist could have found another body and continued cultivating. But Long Chen quickly realized he had made another foolish mistake. They weren't merciful to him. His mercy had caused them to threaten to kill him and his family. Long Chen immediately realized his mistake and killed him. This all happened so quickly that even the Pill Valley's king couldn't react. That person who had gone out just now was one of his genius disciples who had reached late sea expansion. His combat power was extremely strong. That was why he hadn't stopped him. He just viewed it as a trial for his disciple. But who would have thought that this talented disciple of his wasn't able to bear a single blow from Long Chen? He hadn't even had a chance to save him. Everyone was startled. One reason was because of Long Chen's strength, while another was his gods. He actually killed a king's disciple right in front of him, courting death. The Pill Valley's king immediately erupted in fury. The veins on his forehead bulged and killing intent erupted. Killing a master's disciple right in front of them was worse than a slap in the face. Old ghost. Do you see what this is? Long Chen smiled coldly and suddenly took out a medicinal pill. The Pill Valley's king's expression instantly changed. Tiger Dragon Heavenly Explosion Pill? And Peak Grade? How do you possess such a medicinal pill? Why should I tell you? You sanctimonious hypocrite. Long Chen's gaze moved across the other two kings. The reason you've decided to capture me has nothing to do with upholding justice or getting revenge for your clansmen. You're just a pack of greedy dogs. You want my secrets but you still put on such an act, nauseating, that's enough, Long Chen, you're the one who has committed innumerable crimes, everyone in the righteous path knows about those things, do you think anyone would believe your words, even if you have a peak grade tiger dragon heavenly explosion pill, so what, you aren't even at the peak of sea expansion, if you consume it, it would be a miracle if you didn't immediately explode, but even if your body doesn't immediately die, just how much of the pill's power do you think you can release? And once its effect has passed, your meridians will be destroyed, and you'll be no different from a cripple. I'd advise you to not struggle uselessly. Perhaps you feel wronged, but you can trust my pill valley. Pill valley is always neutral and fair. If you had reasons for your actions, we won't kill you. In fact, we'll help you prove your innocence. Don't be obstinate. That will not just cause you to lose your own life but will also implicate innocent lives said the Pill Valley's king. Just now, he had almost directly attacked to kill Long Chen. But Long Chen was right. He wanted his secrets. Hearing this, the Zhuanchen Dao sect's experts were infuriated. This was absolutely shameless. They clearly wanted his life but were actually demanding he go peacefully. Fuck off, you damn kings. Senior apprentice brother Long Chen, don't fall for it. Since we've all come, we don't have any plans of leaving alive. Let's go all out. 
roared a disciple. Go all out. All of them roared and took out their weapons, prepared for a fight to the death. Originally, they had been a bit afraid due to the arrival of a king. But now seeing that these three kings didn't give a damn about the truth and directly called Long Chen a criminal, they were all infuriated. Shut up. You ants don't have the qualifications to speak, shouted the black-robed ancient race expert. His voice wasn't loud, but it somehow rang like thunder in everyone's ears. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples felt their heads buzzing, and blood leaked out of their ears. They collapsed on the ground. Only a few sea expansion experts were able to resist. Long Chen, since you want to persist in going about things the wrong way, don't blame me for bullying the weak. HMPH, a peak grade tiger dragon heavenly explosion pill isn't enough to save your life, roared the Pill Valley's king. Is that so? I don't believe that. This peak grade tiger dragon heavenly explosion pill can not only preserve my life, but it can allow me to leave here safely. Most importantly, once I leave, I will kill every last person here, including those idiots by your side, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen was confident. He was very clear on the power of the pill in his hand. For an ordinary sea expansion expert, consuming it would mean certain death. But he had the green dragon battle armor. He could definitely endure the medicinal energy. At that time, his power would be ten times greater than normal. Even if he couldn't beat a king, he could clean up the trash by their side. Then he could use the lightning body blink to escape. No one could stop him. The Pill Valley's king's expression changed. The attack Long Chen had used just now had shocked him. Although he hadn't seen it clearly, Long Chen's explosive speed did cause him some worry. Now seeing Long Chen so confident, he became a bit unsure. But he sneered. Even if you can endure that pill's energy, your body will be crippled. Although it's a just a seventh tier pill, it is an ancient pill. Only before the change in heaven and earth could a peak sea expansion expert consume it safely. But the world has changed, and the current age's cultivators cannot compare to ancient cultivators. Furthermore, that is a peak grade pill. The chance of you being able to digest it is less than 10%. Even if you do, with me present, there's no chance of you harming a single hair on my disciples' heads. I'd advise you to not resist. Think about yourself and about the people by your side. His meaning was extremely obvious. He no longer bothered with the charade and laid the threat bare. Even if Long Chen escaped, none of the people by his side would survive. You shameless bitch. Were all your thousands of years wasted as a dog. Guo Ran couldn't help but curse. HMPH. There's no need for me to think about anything. I, Long Chen, never submit to threats. If you dare to attack my people, then I will break out of your encirclement, conceal my identity, and bitterly cultivate until I am at the peak of the martial path. Then I'll get revenge for all of them, said Long Chen calmly. The current situation had far surpassed his expectations, but he had already thought things through before coming here. He would no longer hesitate. Even if what was ahead was a den of dragons and tigers, he would still go. He would no longer painstakingly scheme against others. Starting now, when he sensed a threat, he would go all out to eliminate it. He found that after that domineering moment from the Jiuli secret realm, he had gradually become apprehensive again and his guts had only grown smaller. He had become more and more reliant on intelligence instead of power. But intelligence was deceptive. No matter how many trump cards you prepared, they would never be enough. Little Snow was an example. So he gave up on that. If he died, then he died. He wouldn't retreat. HMPH. Do you think you'll have that chance? Sneered the ancient race and ancient family alliances kings. They both extended a hand and the world was bound by endless runes. Space became locked. Long Chen didn't even have a chance to devour the peak grade dragon tiger heavenly explosion pill. A large hand reached toward him. It was like the world was frozen around him. But a cold smile appeared on Long Chen's face. His divine ring appeared, and four stars revolved in his eyes. But this spatial power still didn't break. However, when green scales covered his body, a sacred aura erupted and his spatial bindings shattered. Long Chen tossed the medicinal pill into his mouth. There's no need to go so all out. Suddenly, a familiar voice rang out. Two key waves erupted, and the ancient race's king and ancient family alliance's king were both blown back. The ancient race's king was sent flying and vomited blood, while the ancient family alliance's king was slashed on the shoulder and cut in two. His blood splashed through the air. This sudden change caught everyone off guard. Long Chen had only just tossed the dragon tiger heavenly explosion pill into his mouth when he stopped and didn't consume it. He looked at that familiar figure with disbelief. A sword slowly returned to its sheath. A man stood in front of Long Chen, 
and there was a 30-meter black hole in the sky in front of him. The void had been cleanly cut apart just like this. That blackness seemed to be able to devour anything. Just looking at it would make a person feel like their soul was being drawn in. After that, the injury to the void healed in a single breath. It was an unforgettable scene. Long Chen, it's been a few years. Your ability to cause trouble only grows stronger. That man turned around. Sect leader, Long Chen, Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, and all the disciples who had originally been part of the 108th monastery all had their jaws drop. Chapter 948 Feng Zingli Translator Born to be his aura had completely transformed, but his outer appearance was still the same. His sword was sheathed on his back, and he wore snow-white robes. Sect leader, they were delighted. This was the 108th monastery sect leader from back then, Ling Yunzi. He had actually appeared here, with one slash of his sword. He cut a king in two. However, that king used some unknown technique to reconnect the two parts of his body. He looked in shock at Ling Yunzi. Other than Ling Yunzi, there was a middle-aged man in the air as well. Just now, a slash of his sword had blown back the ancient family alliance's king. He was extremely tall and muscular. It was like snakes were wriggling beneath his skin. He was bursting out with energy. He had a broadsword almost just as tall as him on his back. He was like an immovable mountain as he stood there. You're from the heaven-splitting battle sect, demanded the ancient family alliance's king. Hearing that he came from the heaven-splitting battle sect, Long Chen didn't find it odd at all. As soon as he had attacked, he had sensed the aura of split the heavens. Although the move he had used wasn't split the heavens, he couldn't have mistaken that aura. That large man didn't even glance at the king. He turned to Long Chen. Not bad little fellow, due to this metal, you won't be beaten too badly. His voice wasn't loud, but it was like thunder in everyone's ears. They all knew this person had to be a king and wouldn't bother trying to flaunt his power in front of them. His voice was probably just like that. Even from this distance, his voice shook their eardrums. If they were closer, wouldn't they go deaf? Long Chen didn't know what was happening, but he knew he was helping him. There was no need for him to throw away his life anymore. Many thanks for helping. Senior, Long Chen hastily bowed. The large man waved his hand. Don't do so many useless things. The reason I've come here is because I was ordered to come support you. Today, if you want to kill someone, then go ahead and kill them. If someone dares to interfere, I'll cut off their heads. Ah, speaking of which, who are you? How have I never heard of you in Central Plains? It seems you are very powerful. He turned to look at Ling Yunzi, battle intent soaring in his eyes. Junior brother is Ling Yunzi. Greetings, senior. Ling Yunzi smiled. Ling Yunzi? Why does that sound so familiar? Ah, didn't the Heavenly Sword sect obtain a peerless genius with that name who has already comprehended the Annihilation Sword Deo? Is that you? Said the Heaven Splitting Battle Sects man. I am simply indebted to the Heavenly Sword sect's master and cultivating there. Senior brother overpraises me, said Ling Yunzi, although his words were very calm. Just hearing the name of the Heavenly Sword sect was enough to shake everyone. The Heavenly Sword sect was extremely famous on the Martial Heaven continent. They only had a few hundred members, but they only accepted sword cultivators, and only sword cultivators that had comprehended sword intent at that. They were different from other sects and rarely interfered with mundane matters. They were like a group of hermits that had isolated themselves from the world to cultivate. They rarely had any interactions with the rest of the world but they were exceedingly terrifying experts. Anyone could try to join the Heavenly Sword sect as long as they passed the test regarding the Sword Deo, they could join. After that, they would enjoy all the Heavenly Sword sect's resources given to sword cultivators. However, the test was extremely strict, and focused on the Sword Deo. The probability of passing was less than 1 in 10,000, and the price for failure was death. It was a cruel trial. But every person who managed to pass would have their name carved onto the Heavenly Sword sect's Heavenly Sword tablet at the front of the sect. It had been many years since someone had managed to pass the trial and join the Heavenly Sword sect. But over a year ago, Ling Yunzi had managed to pass, and when his name had been carved onto the Heavenly Sword tablet, it had caused his fame to explosively grow. That was why this heaven splitting battle sect's king would feel that his name was very familiar. He asked. Don't the Heavenly Sword Sect's experts only cultivate the Sword Deo and not interfere in mundane matters? Why have you run over here? In truth, the Heavenly Sword Sect doesn't require its members to act in any way, nor does it restrict our freedom. It just requires us to act according to our heart. There are some seniors who already have no ties to the rest of the world, 
so they don't even leave the sect. There are also some who are completely engrossed in the sword Deo and don't care about anything else. However, I was never able to let my heart rest, and so the sect let me come out to settle my affairs. And now you see the result. Ling Yanzi smiled at Long Chen. You have a relationship with Long Chen. The large man was startled. Not just any relationship. The reason I could attain my current height is all because of Long Chen. So whoever tries to make things hard on Long Chen today will meet their death. Ling Yanzi looked at the three kings. His voice was flat but full of unquestionable resolve. Hearing that Ling Yanzi was this powerful because of Long Chen, everyone was startled. Even Long Chen was startled. Long Chen didn't know that Ling Yanzi's Annihilation Sword Dao was something he had comprehended after helping him erase the lightning tribulation energy within his body. He had comprehended the essence of Annihilation, opening a completely new path for himself. Long Chen, as you get stronger, your ability to cause trouble also grows. Ling Yanzi looked from Long Chen to the mass of experts below. He, many thanks sect leader for your praise, laughed Long Chen. Now that Ling Yanzi and this large man from the heaven splitting battle sect had arrived, the crisis had been resolved. Long Chen's mood was no longer so heavy. He wanted to ask Ling Yanzi what he had done during the past few years for his cultivation base to grow to such a shocking level. But now wasn't the time. Only a man who dares to cause trouble is a real man. If you flinch and cower when you do everything, what's the point of living? Originally, I was in seclusion, but I was ordered to take a trip here. TCH. That was irritating, so I was going to give you a beating to vent. However, your display is very satisfactory, so I won't. I'll leave this beating for later, laughed the large man from the heaven-splitting battle sect. He patted Long Chen on the shoulder. Booming sounds rang out when his palm struck Long Chen's shoulder. He felt like his bones were about to break. He, although you're a bit small, this courage is not bad. Haha, <laughs> truly not bad. That large man examined Long Chen from head to toe like he was a treasure causing Long Chen's hair to stand on end. Senior, said Long Chen. Don't call me senior. What an irritating word. I am Feng Zingli and ranked third. You aren't one of the heaven-splitting battle sect's disciples yet, so you can call me third uncle. If you aren't satisfied to be suppressed by me in terms of seniority, then hurry and raise your cultivation base. When you become a king, you can call me third brother, said Feng Zingli. Everyone was startled. How was it that Long Chen had such a close relationship with the king from the heaven-splitting battle sect? The remote heaven gang's patriarch's expression became extremely ugly. The matter had developed out of his control. They could only watch. They didn't even have the qualifications to speak. Seeing two kings stand by Long Chen's side caused the other kings to be startled and infuriated. The king from Pill Valley icily said, Are you really going to harbor a criminal like Long Chen? Ling Yanzi was about to reply when Feng Zingli took the initiative. There's no need for so much bullshit. Although you're from Pill Valley, you can't represent Pill Valley's higher-ups. You still aren't at that level. Furthermore, when did the righteous paths matters become something you can stick your nose into? Meddlesome dog, you. The Pill Valley's king was infuriated. Feng Zingli's words were too ugly and didn't give him face in the slightest. You? What you? I am here to support Long Chen. And if you refuse to accept that, let's fight. If you don't want to fight, then fuck off. What's the point of all these useless words? Feng Zingli frowned irritably. The heaven-splitting battle sects people all liked to be direct. They would rather fight with their fists than their tongues. Bastard. My Pill Valley received an invitation to come here to get justice. As for you raged the Pill Valley's king. Old bastard. Do you want to try cursing me again? Feng Zingli's expression sank. His hand reached toward the broadsword on his back. The instant he grabbed the hilt, the world turned still. A powerful aura locked onto the Pill Valley's king. If he dared to move, he would meet a thunderous attack from Feng Zingli. The lock of a king was incomparably terrifying as heaven and earth seemed to be suppressed. Each person felt like their heart was about to leap out of their chest. You, the Pill Valley's king was startled and infuriated. Although he knew that the heaven-splitting battle sects people were all blockheads who didn't talk reason. This was far too domineering. Pill Valley's position was extremely high. Each sect had to be respectful and deferential to them. After all, they all relied on Pill Valley's medicinal pills. So Pill Valley's people were all arrogant and looked down on others. But Feng Zingli didn't accept that. The other Pill Valley's disciples all tottered on the verge of collapse just from being near Feng Zingli's lock. The other two kings didn't know what to do. The heaven-splitting battle sects people were all madmen. No one wanted to provoke them. I didn't think this place would be so lively. 
for all of you to come here for my Zuanshan Deo sects matters truly make me endlessly grateful. An elderly voice rang out. Two figures appeared far away, crossing the distance in an instant. Chapter 949 I don't care what illness you have translator. Born to be the two elders had white hair and lean faces. They gave off a feeling of the immortal Deo. With their white robes, they looked like immortals who had walked out of a painting to grace the mundane world. It was like they might vanish with the wind at any moment. Disciple Ouyang Kiyuayu greets elders. Ouyang Kiyuayu hastily bowed. These two were kings from the head sect. The person at the front appeared exceptionally old. But from the features of his lean face, it was possible to tell he had to have been very handsome in his youth. The other one had an icier face. His lips were thin. His eyebrows were thin and long. And in general, he gave off an unfriendly feeling. Ouyang Kiyuayu, as the sect master of the Zhuanshan Deo sect. You should be the leader of the righteous path here. How could you have done such crazy things? When did the righteous path's people begin slaughtering each other? The icy elder shouted at Ouyang Kiyuayu. Ouyang Kiyuayu lowered her head and didn't reply. She knew that this elder was doing this on purpose. It was like a family head scolding two children for fighting. No matter what, they had to first scold their own child. And only then would they investigate what had happened. That was the way for them to seem magnanimous. Disciple knows her wrongs. Oh young Kiyuaya was experienced and she obediently apologized. Only then did the icy elder nod. The other elder bowed slightly toward Ling Yunzi and Feng Zingli, saying, I am Li Changfeng, and this is my junior brother, Lu Minghan. He is a law enforcement elder from the Zhuanshan Dao sect to have bothered all of you because of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's matter shames me. Li Changfeng's voice was simple, not fast or slow, not servile or overbearing. It was extremely comfortable to listen to. And paired with his mannerisms, it was as if he was saying this was what an expert should act like. HMPH, my pill valley doesn't meddle in other people's affairs. People were wronged and needed trust, and so they asked us to get justice for them, said the pill valley's king in response to Li Changfeng's words. Now that he was talking to someone reasonable, he clearly didn't have so many misjivings and directly expressed his dissatisfaction. He hadn't dared to do that with someone as unreasonable as Feng Zingli. Madmen were the most terrifying ones. Feng Zingli narrowed his eyes but didn't say anything. He couldn't be bothered with this kind of battle of tongues. It wasn't as delightful as using his sword. Ling Yunzi also didn't say anything. Now that the Zhuanshan Dao sect had come to take charge of this matter, he could just watch. HMPH. It was the disciple raised by your Zhuanshan Dao sect that colluded with the aboriginals in the immemorial path and slaughtered your own people shouted the ancient race's king. Does that have anything to do with you? It was our own people. So who do you think you are? Did you personally see me do that? Long Chen cut him off. All the righteous experts are saying so if others said you were my son. Would you call me dad without hesitation? Long Chen cut him off once more. His words were hostile but still correct. Whether or not he had killed people from his own sect. It had nothing to do with the ancient races. As for the ancient races king. He almost fainted from rage because of Long Chen's interruptions. But you also colluded with the aboriginals to slaughter my ancient race's elite disciples. Isn't that right? He roared. He, a grand king, was infuriated to the point where he quivered and his hair stood on end. Guo Ran and the others had to admire Long Chen's sharp tongue. Yes, this time you're right. But why did you have to release all these farts before this? Was it to make you sound righteous and just? Or was it because some of you just had to paint a certain person as an irredeemable villain so that you could have more justification? Sneered Long Chen. You, no matter how you put it, you killed my ancient race's disciples. You can't twist that truth, can you? Everyone, let's calm down and discuss this. Why don't we sit and figure out this problem together? My Zhuanshan Dao sect is famous amongst the righteous sects and has tens of thousands of years of inheritance. I trust everyone is aware of our reputation. If Long Chen truly did do something wrong, we definitely won't harbor him from justice, said Li Changfang. Hearing that, the three kings had no choice but to go along. Right now, it was no longer possible for them to forcibly bring Long Chen away. They could only think of something else. They all descended from the sky, landing on the stage in front of the remote heaven plaza. The seats on the stage were all occupied by the kings. Long Chen and the others could only stand below the stage. Long Chen, tell us, why did you kill so many people from the righteous path and so many ancient race experts? Asked Lu Minghan sternly and coldly. Oh young Qiuiu hastily cast a glance at Long Chen. These were the same unspoken rules as for her. They would chide him a bit, but it was just for show. 
She was indicating for him to endure it because Long Chen hated this kind of thing. It was like he was a criminal. But for Ouyang Kiyuayu, he didn't retort. Shameful. Do you not know how to use polite honorifics? Who taught you how to speak to your seniors? Shouted Lu Minghan. According to regular etiquette, Long Chen should have first bowed, then called him senior, and addressed himself as disciple. But Long Chen didn't care about any of that. Pay attention to your tone. I respect you because of your position, which is high enough to preside over justice. But when it comes to your inner quality as a person, I loathe people like you, said Long Chen icily. Oh Yang Qiyu and the other experts from the Zhuanshan Dao sect all jumped in shock. Long Chen was absolutely obstinate. If an almighty king wanted to chide you a bit, why not just simply call him senior? Seeing that Long Chen dared to contradict Lu Minghan, the Pill Valley's experts all smiled derisively. Chortling even rang out in the air, putting Lu Minghan on the spot. Little brood, you well, aren't you the old brood? Raged Long Chen. Ha 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 ha. Feng Zingli couldn't help but laugh. Ling Yanzi also shook his head helplessly. Long Chen's temper hadn't changed even after all these years. Courting death, Lu Minghan was absolutely infuriated. Originally, this should have been just an ordinary preamble, but before he could even ask anything, Long Chen cursed at him and made him want to explode. What? You want to attack? That's good. I've been waiting for a while. Seeing Lu Minghan stand up, Feng Zingli also stood, patting his sword hilt. Everyone, calm down a bit. It's hot today so it's easy to lose your temper. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, why don't you explain what happened in your own words? Said Li Changfang. In truth, he was bitterly smiling inside. This junior brother of his was extremely stern and icy. That was related to the fact that he was from the law enforcement hall. So his tone was naturally a bit overbearing. Normally, the ones he faced were just junior disciples. Those disciples had to endure whether they wanted to or not. But Long Chen refused to accept that. If he wanted to use a berating tone, then he could accept that. After all, he was the senior, but calling him a brute was insulting his mother. He couldn't accept that, which was why he warned him to pay attention to his words. Then Lu Minghan refused to accept that and still cursed him. Long Chen's fury had immediately erupted, and he directly cursed back. That made it so Li Changfeng didn't know whether to laugh or cry. There was no way to resolve that, as it had been Lu Minghan that started things. If this continued, he would just embarrass himself more. So he hastily took over. I'm a bit mad right now and my head's messy. So I'll let my brother speak for me. Guo Ran, you can explain, said Long Chen. He really was a bit angry. In fact, just now when Lu Minghan had cursed him, he had almost exploded. He found that he was getting more and more angered. His ability to control himself was weakening. Me, Guo Ran was a bit apprehensive. What, do you not dare? Go bring out the bravery you have when you normally act like a poser, said Long Chen. Guo Ran really was nervous. Kings were existences that didn't exist within the eastern wasteland. But as soon as he heard the word poser, his eyes brightened. That word gave him limitless courage. This matter happened like this. My boss is a godlike hero. A genius amongst geniuses cough. Ah, my boss is Long Chen. When we just entered the immemorial path, it went without saying that Guo Ran's tongue was also exceptional. Although he was a bit nervous at the beginning, he quickly became accustomed and a colorful story was painted by him loudly and smoothly. He explained everything about the enmity between them and the ancient races. From the beginning, it was always Yu Chang Heo provoking Long Chen. Later, the ancient races had continuously forced them into conflicts. All of this was explained in detail. All Guo Ran's words were true, and Long Chen didn't ask him to lie. There was also no need to lie. This explanation was no more than a formality, so Long Chen couldn't be bothered to do it himself. The Zhuanshan Dao sect was strong. Even if Long Chen said that he didn't like the way Yu Chang Heo looked and so he had killed him, the Zhuanshan Dao sect could come up with a million reasons to protect him. If Pill Valley was strong, then even if Long Chen explained how he had been wronged in a million ways, it wouldn't have a damn use. Whether or not he was in the right depended on power. All of this was just a bunch of senseless rules. But the righteous path liked to play this game, and they played it a lot. They liked to see who played better, who had a better strategy, or whose tactics were the most supreme. With Ling Yanzi and Feng Zingli standing by Long Chen, who would dare to touch his head? So Long Chen couldn't be bothered to play that game. But if they wanted to play, they could play by themselves. Since Guo Ran liked to be in the spotlight, he could play with them. From now on, Guo Ran would have an amazing story to brag about. When he was just at early sea expansion, 
He dared to tell a story to kings. After cursing them over and over, they didn't even dare to interrupt. Of course, who would believe him? Bastard. Even if there was a conflict between the two of you, there was no need to slaughter all our elite disciples. You don't have a leg to stand on. Furthermore, I don't believe you. The ancient races are always neutral. We never bully others. Raged the ancient races king. According to Guo Ran's story, it was the ancient races that were too overbearing, willing to slaughter people for any random resources. The conflicts grew step by step all because of them. Do you have an illness? If you don't believe me, why listen to me explaining at all? You could have said something sooner and saved me the effort. Guo Ran cursed the ancient race expert. Brat, you're courting death. He raged. Temporarily put aside your anger. Although this is just a one-sided story, why don't you have some of your ancient race disciples tell their side? Said Li Changfang. As soon as he said this, all the wily old foxes understood what he was doing. Chapter 950 A person should be magnanimous translator. Born to be all the wily old foxes immediately understood Li Changfeng's words. The Zhuangshan Dao sect's attitude was to simply smooth things over and protect Long Chen. This was no investigation. When the ancient races brought out their own disciples to testify about what had happened, all that would happen was that both sides would criticize the other. They could make up all kinds of lies. After all, there was no third party to testify. It wasn't as if they could call out the aboriginals from the immemorial path. As a result, this matter would be smoothed over. At the very most, the Zhuangshan Dao sect might pay some compensation to the ancient races for them to bury their dead. Let's not talk about the ancient races for now. Long Chen killed so many people from the righteous path, and thousands of them came from my ancient family alliance. How do you explain that? Said the ancient family alliance's king. He wasn't stupid. Seeing that the Zhuangshan Dao sect wanted to protect Long Chen, he immediately tossed out what had happened with the righteous path. At the same time, he cast a glance to the remote Heaven Gang's patriarch. Ji Chang Kong immediately walked out and respectfully bowed, saying, Reporting to seniors, this disciple has evidence here that proves Long Chen colluded with the aboriginals to kill righteous experts. Here is the photographic jade. Ji Chang Kong activated a photographic jade. An image of a battlefield appeared in the air. That battlefield was Drake Mountain. It revealed how Men Qi had been fighting against righteous experts to save the aboriginals. Oh, why is there just that one girl? Where are the others? And the other scenes? Asked Li Changfang. Everyone was in a life and death battle. So it was only possible to record this little bit said Ji Chang Kong. It's because if they show too much, it'll expose their secrets. Sneered Guo Ran. Bullshit. Do you dare to let that woman come out and testify? Raged Ji Chang Kong. Long Chen, is this image real? Asked Li Changfang. His meaning was obvious. Long Chen should say it wasn't real, and simply say that they were being framed. Then they could continue smoothing things over. It is. Long Chen nodded. Haha, <laughs> what a good child. Then is there anything that isn't revealed in just this scene? Why did you collude with the aboriginals? Li Changfeng couldn't help but laugh. His laughter was a bit helpless. He was sure Long Chen had understood his intentions, but he had still said this. He didn't know what drugs he was on. This doesn't count as colluding. Before this, my boss was chased down by countless experts led by Zhu Yu and Yu Chang Heo because of his treasures. Guo Ran told them about how the aboriginals had saved Long Chen after being chased down by those two. He didn't go into very much detail, but to sum it up, the aboriginals were actually good people. Seeing Long Chen's heaven-shaking handsomeness was enough to cause gods and ghosts to weep. The aboriginals had thought him to be a good person and saved him. They had become friends with him and very close ones at that. But when it came to how Ji Chang Kong had laid down a trap for Long Chen and intentionally drawn over the aboriginals as bait, Guo Ran went into great detail. When he finally mentioned how Ji Chang Kong's trap had involved working together with the corrupt path to kill Long Chen, it immediately caused an uproar amongst the Zhuangshan Dao sect's disciples. Ji Chang Kong, you shameless bitch, you're too despicable, don't slander others. What proof do you have? We were cleaning up the traitors in the righteous path, and the corrupt path just happened to come. We had no relation at all, sneered Ji Chang Kong. Do you really think you handled things perfectly? Ji Chang Kong. You overestimate yourself. Do you think that other than you everyone else is stupid? Long Chen smiled slightly. A photographic jade appeared in his hand. He tossed it directly to Li Changfeng. He activated it, which revealed a scene in the air. Ji Chang Kong's expression changed. 
The first scene in this photographic jade was of the person he had sent to Zhu Yu to establish their cooperation. Then more familiar faces appeared, all talking with corrupt path. They were clearly discussing the plan, and even he himself appeared in it. Bastard, this is fake. That person isn't me, roared Ji Chang Kong. Now he was afraid. He hadn't expected that this kind of scene had been recorded. In reality, this was something made by Zhu Yu. Once his aide had been killed, this thing had been noticed by King Yu when she had gone through his possessions. That's not you? Okay, then it's not you. But there's also an image of both your armies gathering together. Tell me, how was I supposed to find enough fakes to set that up? Asked Long Chen lightly. Li Changfeng smiled. It was no wonder Long Chen was so calm. He had absolute proof in his hands. That photographic jade was like a knife that had viciously stabbed through the remote heaven gang's heart. Everyone was startled by it, and the patriarch's expression completely changed. Shouldn't the person from the remote heaven gang come out and say something? Sneered Lu Minghan. This matter was too obvious. All of this had been caused by the remote heaven gang, and not only had their scheme been brought to light, but the price of colluding with the corrupt path was the annihilation of the entire sect you little bastard. You dared to do such a heretical thing. Unexpectedly, the remote heaven gang's patriarch roared furiously and sent a palm toward Ji Chang Kong. But as soon as he moved, Lu Minghan raised his hand. Spatial strength extended hundreds of meters, and the remote heaven gang's patriarch, a half-step king, became unable to move. Rashly killing someone before this matter is settled isn't good, don't you think? If he is wronged, wouldn't that make you feel embarrassed? Sneered Lu Minghan. He waved his hand. Runes appeared in the air forming chains that bound the patriarch. Although he was a half-step king, he didn't have the slightest ability to resist. Seeing that, the other half-step king's expressions changed. They felt that this situation today was about to go very badly for them. Brother from Pill Valley, you were invited here to uphold justice, correct? Then please, go ahead and say your verdict. After all, for a member of my Zhuanshan Dao sect to be the judge would be inappropriate, said Li Changfeng. The Pill Valley King's expression was extremely unsightly, and the other two kings were about the same as well. The person from the ancient family alliance was especially irritated. Right now, he couldn't say a word. There was the ironclad evidence that Ji Chang Kong had led the righteous experts to collude with the corrupt path in order to kill Long Chen. There was no way to retort. Although those people had partially been used by Ji Chang Kong, and their deaths were a bit unjust, there was no reason for him to make things hard on Long Chen. The ancient race expert also had to shut his mouth as Yu Chang Heo had been part of the collusion. The three forces had joined hands to handle Long Chen. Although he hadn't been part of the attack on Drake Mountain, Guo Ran had revealed more images that were completely irrefutable. All his reasoning had been ruined because Ji Chang Kong had made a critical error that had even implicated the ancient races, so he didn't even know what to say. His people had been killed, but there was no good excuse for him to make things hard on the killers. The ancient races were always neutral. Cooperating with the righteous path or the corrupt path was taboo. Now that they had cooperated in a fight between the righteous and corrupt paths, their deaths were simply wasted. Cough. I didn't expect the remote heaven gang to be so impetuous. The truth of this matter has come to light. Let the remote heaven gang be disbanded, said the Pill Valley's king. Brother truly is wise. Li Changfeng smiled. He gave Pill Valley a way out of their embarrassing situation. Although now everyone was clear about what had happened, Li Changfeng didn't want to ruin the Zhuanshan Dao sect's relationship with Pill Valley. No matter how strong the Zhuanshan Dao sect was, they still relied on medicinal pills. Although this person couldn't represent Pill Valley, it was best not to offend him either. Since that's the case, the Pill Valley's king understood Li Changfeng. He was giving him face, and he was just about to announce that the remote heaven gang had been disbanded when he was cut off. It seems I am the victim. Right? Pill Valley Senior, can you help me get revenge? Said Long Chen suddenly. The Pill Valley's king glared at Long Chen. He was starting to hate this brat, having an urge to crush him beneath his fingers. Long Chen had caused him to lose face by killing one of his disciples right in front of him. Now, he didn't even have an excuse to get revenge for that disciple. Although his expression was calm, killing intent was boiling within him. Long Chen, although you were wronged, as part of the righteous path, you should be magnanimous. Only then can you accomplish bigger things. Lectured the Pill Valley's king. HMPH. Ignorant and unbearably coarse. Without this magnanimity. It's obvious he is nothing more than a butcher. Sneered someone in the crowd. This person was one of the alchemists from Pill Valley. 
Seeing that Long Chen had caused a shocking reversal and was now proven innocent irritated him. So when Long Chen had contradicted his master, he had immediately sneered at him. The people on the stage were all kings, so he didn't have the qualifications to sit there. He could only stand below the stage, not far from Long Chen and the others. Although his voice wasn't loud, it was very clear to the surrounding people. The insulting tone within it was overflowing. Guo Ran's expression sank. He was just about to retort when a blood-colored light shot out suddenly. That person was blown to bits, splashing his fellow alchemists with blood. Long Chen's attack had come suddenly and unexpectedly. No one had thought he would dare to kill one of the Pill Valley's disciples right in front of a king. That was his second disciple slain. Long Chen lazily rested his saber on his shoulder and disdainfully looked at the Pill Valley's king. Sorry, chapter 951 killed them all translator. Born to be everyone was silent. Even the kings were dumbfounded. What did he think he was doing? Was this brat crazy? All he had done was insult him and he killed him? And right in front of his master? And he thought it would be okay with a sorry? Oh young Kiyu's soul almost fled out of fright. She felt like she was going crazy. What was Long Chen planning? The Dragonblood warriors didn't bat an eye upon seeing one of the Pill Valley's experts be killed like a chicken. That kind of indifference to death made their blood boil. This was their boss. This was what it meant to be domineering. Guo Ran was clenching his fists, filled with worship. This was truly being badass. Killing one wasn't satisfying enough, so directly killing another was best. In truth, just speaking so frankly to a group of kings and even cursing a king to their face was enough to raise Guo Ran's posing realm. But he still couldn't be compared to Long Chen. Long Chen was the truly baddest one. Even Ling Yunzi wiped his forehead, feeling a slight headache. This temperament of Long Chen's hadn't changed. Instead, he had only grown more crazy. Only Feng Zingli nodded with delight. He almost clapped his hands and praised. In his opinion, this was how a man should act. But Li Changfeng and Lu Minghan's expressions changed. Long Chen clearly didn't know how to appreciate kindness. How could he do something so overboard? What they had done before had already calmed things down. With just a bit more, this whole matter would have been resolved. What did you say? The Pill Valley's king almost exploded. Flames erupted around him, and it felt like the whole world had ignited. He was truly furious. No, not furious. He was on the edge of exploding. Each of his words was spat out through clenched teeth. Sorry, said Long Chen very apologetically. Just sorry, he raged. Ah, I suppose. I've said sorry, and this matter is already over. Isn't it just one dead person? Don't be so petty. Stay calm. With your age, is it worth making such a fuss over such a small matter? Said Long Chen. What nonsense. You killed two of my disciples. I'll make you pay with your life. Pay with my life? Why? Asked Long Chen. You killed someone, so you have to pay with your life. Are you an idiot? No. Just because you kill someone doesn't mean you have to pay with your life. Although you've suffered wrongs and two of your disciples have died, you should be magnanimous. Only then can you accomplish bigger things, advised Long Chen. Everyone looked oddly at the Pill Valley's king. These were the same words he had said to Long Chen. Now they understood why Long Chen had killed that person. It was to shut his mouth. He really was brazen. When I first joined the Zhuanshan Dao sect, my sect leader told me a certain thing. When others don't understand anything and simply advise you to be magnanimous, you should maintain your distance from them, because when they're killed, they'll splash you with blood. Back then, I was too young to understand, but now that I think about it, the principles behind it are truly profound. Sect leader's wisdom truly is as vast as an ocean. Long Chen looked at Ling Yunzi with heartfelt admiration. Did I ever say something like that? Ling Yunzi was stunned inside, but then he quickly understood Long Chen was using him, pulling him down with him. Brother, this principle of yours truly is profound. With just a glance, I can tell you're erudite. Truly worthy of praise. Feng Zingli gave Ling Yunzi a big thumbs up. Ling Yunzi bitterly smiled. He had never said anything like that. But he also couldn't explain. He could only go along with Long Chen. Long Chen, you did this on purpose. The Pill Valley's king glared at Long Chen. Filled with killing intent. No, I wouldn't dare to admit to that. Let me just say it again. This matter is already in the past and people should be magnanimous so that they can do bigger things. Only like this can people work together sincerely and raise each other to greater heights. As part of Pill Valley, I'm sure you understand this principle. Could it be that you advised me to be magnanimous, but you aren't magnanimous yourself? If even you can't be magnanimous, how do you expect me to be? 
You should lead by example, said Long Chen. You, you're just twisting words. This was people's first time feeling a trace of sympathy for that old man. Looking at how his hair was standing on end, they didn't know if he would directly die of anger. The Pill Valley's disciples had finally learned their lesson and backed further away. They also didn't dare to say anything. I'm twisting words? But then what about you? Just because a few of your disciples were killed, you want me to pay with my life? But when so many of my companions died because of Ji Chang Kong's schemes, you wanted me to be magnanimous? Is your head full of shit? You think just disbanding the remote heaven gang is enough to quell my hatred? You're just going to let these murderers roam the world? Why should you be allowed to stop me from getting revenge? Because you're a king? Because you're stronger than me? Just because your position is higher than mine, you can rule over everything? Fuck the hell off, old bastard. Let me tell you, I've seen far too many of you idiots who like to put on a sanctimonious appearance while clearly having filthy goals. Just looking at you disgusts me. From the moment I came here, I didn't hope for anyone to save me. I don't fear death. So why do you think I'd fear an idiot like you? Toward the end, Long Chen's voice grew louder to the point that it shook the sky. Thinking of Little Snow's death caused his killing intent to surge beyond control. Calm down, Long Chen. We all know your grievances. Speak. What do you want? Said Li Changfeng helplessly. Long Chen was not an ordinary disciple right now. Ling Yanzi and Feng Zingli supported him. And no matter what evil things he had done, they would protect him. Furthermore, the two of them were extremely powerful. Although they hadn't said anything yet, the Pill Valley's king was about to attack and the two of them would not just sit still and watch. He didn't have a great understanding of Ling Yunzi, but he had a profound understanding of how crazy the madmen from the heaven-splitting battle sect were. They never talked reason. While the situation could still be controlled, he hastily opened his mouth. He felt a headache. In all his years, he had never seen a disciple like Long Chen. There was no way to suppress him. My requirements aren't high. Anyone here who raised their fists to kill me should be killed instead, said Long Chen. A cold gasp escaped from everyone. He wanted to kill essentially everyone from the righteous path. Long Chen, many of the people here are innocent. They were simply baited to come by the remote heaven gang, said Li Changfeng. He felt that Long Chen was going too far. Innocent? Haha. <laughs> Do you know how many people here clearly knew I was framed but still came out to suck up to the remote heaven gang? Do you know how many people don't give a damn about my innocence, with their only goal being to get a favor from the remote heaven gang? If the situation was reversed, once I was killed, would they think of the word innocent when they turned their butcher's blades toward the rest of the Zhuanshan Dao sect's disciples? Sneered Long Chen. Kama Li Changfen was stomped. As one of the higher-ups of the Zhuanshan Dao sect, he couldn't be biased toward the remote heaven gang. But if the remote heaven gang was disbanded and then all these righteous experts were killed, the Zhuanshan Dao sect's name would be tarnished. Let me tell you then, they wouldn't. They wouldn't hesitate despite knowing your disciples are innocent. They would cut off all our heads to show their loyalty to the remote heaven gang, making them the dominant power here. In this world, there aren't any innocent people. There are only greedy and foolish people. Greedy people know the truth but act like they don't, while foolish people simply don't know the truth but will still raise their blades with everyone else. They don't need to know the truth. All they need is to win the favor from the remote heaven gang. Those foolish people aren't worth pitying as they have their own heads. If they can indiscriminately kill people without first determining the truth, can they get off unpunished? Can foolish people ignore other people's lives? Can foolish people randomly harm others? So being foolish is the reasoning of these innocents. Long Chen's voice resounded through the air, causing countless experts' expressions to change. Yes, by coming here to the remote heaven gang, they didn't care at all about whether or not Long Chen was innocent. Since they can slaughter my brothers, why can't I slaughter them? Suddenly, Long Chen's wings appeared and he shot into the sky. Two huge dragons flew out, releasing powerful roars, with Lai Long and Huo Long bringing out their true bodies. Endless lightning and flame energy raged in the air. Icy killing intent erupted out of Long Chen. He was like an Azura who had come to reap lives. All the experts who had been invited by the remote heaven gang were horrified. A sensation of death welled up within them. Chapter 952 Put Down Your Burden Translator Born to be Long Chen, you dare. The Pill Valley's king and Lu Minghan both shouted furiously. Long Chen was actually arrogantly ignoring their decision. Even Li Changfeng found it slightly hard to bear. Long Chen was too obstinate and didn't even give face to kings. Seeing Long Chen filled with killing intent, Ling Yunzi sighed inside. 
It seemed there really was nothing Long Chen wouldn't dare to do in this world. HMPH, there's nothing that I, Long Chen, don't dare to do in this world. If you have the power, then come and kill me. However, you don't have the power to change me. Even the heavens don't have that ability, shouted Long Chen. The two dragons coiled around Long Chen, constantly roaring. A powerful aura enveloped everyone present. Long Chen, let us off. We didn't know you were framed. Please. Countless people were terrified by Long Chen's killing intent. Long Chen had two kings fully supporting him, and no one could force him to submit. If Long Chen wanted to, then they would all die. Originally, they were all people with high status and dignity, but in the face of death, that pride was broken and they begged for mercy. If those two seniors hadn't come to support me, then once I was killed, would you let off the hundred thousand disciples of the Zhuangshan Dao sect when they begged for mercy, roared Long Chen. The two dragons suddenly exploded in power. A powerful pressure crashed down on them, one that even caused the kings to change expression. They hadn't thought that Long Chen could release such a terrifying attack without a king item. Once that attack was released, then other than those who had reached half-step king, everyone else would be killed. Long Chen, if you kill this many people, you will be hunted down by the world's righteous path. Are you planning on becoming enemies with the entire righteous path? Shouted Li Changfeng. Although Long Chen was obstinate, Li Changfeng truly felt he was a good sprout. Even if he was placed in the central plains, he could release his brilliance. He couldn't bear to see Long Chen commit such an offense. If Long Chen only killed the ringleaders, then that was fine. But killing this many, especially when they were all from the righteous path, would make it so even the Zhuangshan Dao sect couldn't protect him. In fact, they might even have to personally execute him. He didn't want to see a genius fall like that. Ling Yanzi only calmly watched. He didn't say anything nor did he do anything to stop him. He didn't even express his point of view. He was the one who understood Long Chen the most. Divergence could never walk a normal path. It wasn't odd for them to do all kinds of crazy things. Feng Zingli's eyes were shining. This unbending stubbornness of Long Chen's was what he liked the most. He was already holding his sword hilt and made his determination known that no matter what anyone said or did, he would bring Long Chen back to the heaven-splitting battle sec. Do the two of you not want to say anything? Li Changfeng turned to Ling Yanzi. He couldn't be bothered to ask Feng Zingli, as he knew that was useless. Ling Yanzi shook his head. No one can change the things that Long Chen decides on. It's just like he said. You can kill him, but you can't change him. In any case, no matter what trouble Long Chen causes, I will help him shoulder it, even if it costs me my life. Li Changfeng sighed. He no longer tried to change his mind. He had already done everything he could. If Long Chen wanted to obstinately do things his way, he had no way to stop him. He could only watch as such a heavenly genius was destroyed. He was full of pity. Long Chen stared at the terrified faces below. But thinking of Little Snow's death, he felt a stabbing pain in his heart. Back then was the same as now. Ji Chang Kong had gathered a group of celestials from the righteous path. And they also hadn't cared whether or not Long Chen was framed. They had just wanted to suck up to Ji Chang Kong. Although Little Snow hadn't died to their hands, they couldn't escape the fact that they were related. They were accomplices in his death. If there is another life, I would want to be with you again. Those were Little Snow's final words to Long Chen before dying. It was just one sentence, but it contained boundless emotion and longing. Long Chen would never be able to forget that pain. Die. Long Chen's eyes were scarlet as he activated the double dragon destruction. He was going to kill all the helpers the remote heaven gang had gathered. Long Chen, don't. This isn't you. A graceful figure flew in front of Long Chen, her white robes and long hair fluttering in the wind, appearing like an immortal from a painting. She stood right in front of him. Men Qi, you. Long Chen was startled and hastily stopped his attack. Long Chen, release your hatred. Your hatred has blinded you, turning you into a completely different person. If you really kill them, you won't feel any better. You'll just feel more pain. In truth, you also know that if they truly were wicked beyond redemption, then you wouldn't have hesitated for so long. You would have killed them without a frown. But you hesitated, unable to do so because you still have a kind conscience inside you. You're trying to wipe that conscience away, but you can't. You're simply trying to use the hatred from Little Snow's death to force yourself into becoming a heartless killer. But it's useless. You are kind inside, and once you kill them, it will just cause you to feel more lost. The yardstick upon which you judge your own morality will be broken, and you won't be able to find your life's goal. Long Chen clenched his fists. It was Menki who understood him the best. 
Pain filled Men Qi's eyes. She gently stroked Long Chen's sharp and determined face. We know the pain in your heart, so we don't want you to feel more pain. Killing these people is simple, but it won't erase the pain of Little Snow's departure. Let them off, not because you pity them, or because you're lowering your head to anyone, but because of your brothers and sisters. Each one of us will not hesitate to fight to the death for you, but none of us want to see you hurt. Only once you choose to release them will you regain your freedom, allowing you to walk down your endless cultivation path. We all still have many things to do. If you just keep accumulating burdens on your back, sooner or later, you'll collapse. Releasing those burdens is also putting down the burden in your heart. Boss, just treat them like a fart. They're useless and will forever be useless. We just need to settle the bill with the ringleaders. Boss, someone as grand as you doesn't need to set yourself against a group of ants. I'm sure Little Snow also wouldn't want you to do such a thing, said Guo Ran. Boss, just have them scram. We're still waiting for you to let us to greater heights, shouted the Dragonblood Warriors. Long Chen looked at Men Qi. He saw endless warmth within her beautiful eyes, warmth that made his heart feel less pain. He recalled the two dragons. The atmosphere that had been like a taut bowstring instantly relaxed. Those quivering righteous experts collapsed on the ground. Only now did they realize they were covered in sweat. They were all delighted. It seemed that they would escape with their lives. Thank you. Long Chen tightly hugged Men Qi. With his face in her hair, smelling her scent, he felt a sense of peace and content he hadn't had since Little Snow's death. Men Qi's words were absolutely right. He had already started becoming bedeviled. Little Snow's death had filled him with pain. Although he had slaughtered experts from all sides in the immemorial path, the fury in his heart hadn't lessened at all. Upon returning to the Martial Heaven continent, he first exterminated hundreds of thousands of experts from the corrupt path, and then even used the Eastern Wasteland Belt to slaughter the ancient race's elites. According to reason, after killing this many people, the hatred in his heart should have gradually faded, but instead of feeling relieved, he just felt more hatred. Men Qi allowed Long Chen to realize that a problem had already occurred in his heart. If he continued killing, it might become irreversible. Then he would sink down to become a bloodthirsty berserk devil. He would never be happy no matter how many people he killed. If Long Chen wasn't able to be happy, then the people by his side wouldn't either. His pain was all their pain. For his brothers and sisters, he had to put down the burden in his heart. He still had a long path to walk in the future. Men Qi tightly held on to Long Chen. Her eyes misty. Long Chen had suffered a great deal, but he had bottled up it inside, refusing to share any part of it. He was the soul of the Dragonblood Legion. He was carrying an incredible weight on his shoulders. If it was anyone else, they would have long since crumbled under the pressure. But Long Chen carried that weight without complaint or regret. Long Chen was just a human. There were times where he felt sorrowful, helpless, and hesitant. But Long Chen continued to bring them charging forward courageously. On the other hand, they were unable to help him much. Men Qi sometimes hated herself for being useless and unable to help him more. Seeing that Long Chen had given up on his attack, Li Chang Feng sighed with relief. Ling Yunzi on the other hand acted as if none of this had anything to do with him. As his comprehension into the sword Dao grew deeper, he was becoming transcendent, isolating himself from mundane things. TCH, you were stopped by a woman? Still not unyielding enough, muttered Feng Zingli. He let go of his sword hilt. The three kings who had come to bring Long Chen away were all disappointed. They had all wished for him to attack. Everyone else can leave, but the remote Heaven Gang's people must remain behind. Of course, that includes the traitors from the Zhuanshan Dao sect, said Li Changfeng. The remote Heaven Gang's patriarch, Ji Chang Kong, Ji Hongling, and the others turned ashen. Chapter 953 Continuous Sinister Schemes Translator Born to be everyone from the remote Heaven Gang turned pale. But they rejoiced to see that Li Changfeng only picked out a few ringleaders who had participated in this matter, including the patriarch, Ji Chang Kong, and a few dozen others. As for the Zhuanshan Dao sect's traitors, they didn't even have a place to cry. Xiao Wuji tried to kill himself, but he didn't prevail. He and Yu Kianshan would have to endure the Zhuanshan Dao sect's number one punishment. Thinking of the five heart living lotus, the two of them fainted. They despaired. As for the other disciples, Although they weren't to suffer that number one punishment, betraying a sect was a grave taboo. They would definitely die. Unfortunately, death was a blessing they wouldn't receive. Once everyone had been escorted away, the only one remaining was Ji Chang Kong. Long Chen stood in front of him. Do you have anything to say? Long Chen, you brood. If you have guts, 
Then kill me. You sneered Ji Chang Kong arrogantly. Pow. Guo Ran slapped him in the face. But without his armor, it was his own hand that ended up hurting. You want me to kill you in a fury? You really like to scheme. There's no saving you, said Long Chen indifferently. Not good. Suddenly, Oh Yang Kiyu let out a startled cry. The jade plate on her waist was rapidly flashing. Someone's attacking the Zhuanchen Dao sect. Ha ha ha, Long Chen, you were still one move too slow. Even if you kill me. So what? Your Zhuanchen Dao sect has been raised to the ground by Zhu Yu and the others. You won't be able to kill me. But I've killed every last dog remaining in your Zhuanchen Dao sect. Ji Chang Kong crazily laughed. Lu Minghan's expression sank. You actually colluded with the corrupt path to harm my Zhuanchen Dao sect. Old fool. Long Chen really was right to curse you as an idiot. I've long since colluded with the corrupt path. So why wouldn't I collude with them again? I had a grasp over all the Zhuanchen Dao sect's movements from the start. Originally, the ones that came here should have been attacked and killed. While the corrupt path destroyed the Zhuanchen Dao sect's foundation. Regretfully, we lost. But so what? Tens of thousands of your Zhuanchen Dao sect's disciples are about to die because of me. Ha ha ha. Laughed Ji Chang Kong. Courting death. Lu Minghan extended his hand, about to kill him, but Li Changfeng held him back. Killing Ji Chang Kong now was letting him off too easily. Fury can't resolve problems. Let's hurry over to the branch sect. Li Changfeng waved his hand. A mile long flying boat appeared and everyone hastily jumped onto it. What Li Changfeng hadn't expected was for not only Ling Yunzi and Feng Zingli to get on, even the other three kings got on. The flying boat wasn't able to fit everyone. In the end, they only brought along their peak fighters, such as the Monastery Heads and the Dragon Blood Legion. At the same time, they brought Ji Chang Kong and the others. Long Chen was surprised to see that this flying boat didn't really fly. Instead, it tore straight through space. Spatial transportation. Long Chen was startled by this capability. In truth, the only reason why it was capable of this was because the Zhuanchen Dao sect's coordinates were recorded within it. This speed was much greater than flying. But to bring this many people back to the Zhuanchen Dao sect would require at least an incense stick's worth of time. Thinking of how the defenses of the Zhuanchen Dao sect were currently, everyone knew that it wouldn't even be able to last a few breaths. This incense stick's worth of time was too long. Ha ha ha. I really want to see what your expressions will look like once you see your home covered in corpses and burned to the ground. Ha ha ha. Ji Chang Kong laughed until Long Chen hit him in the face. He also broke his jaw making it so he couldn't speak. Ji Chang Kong let out a pained groan, no longer able to laugh. Long Chen inserted his spiritual yuan into Ji Chang Kong's body. Ji Chang Kong immediately felt his body become much more sensitive. Before Ji Chang Kong could even prepare himself, a foot landed on his crotch. An indescribable pain, magnified ten times, tore through his body. He spasmed, curled up, and then stiffened. His body continued to twitch, and a certain vein popped up on his forehead looking like it might explode at any moment. His eyes were protruding out of their sockets. I didn't expect that your appearance could become so overflowing. So talented. Long Chen icily stared at Ji Chang Kong. He pressed his foot on his jaw and then gently pushed down. The sound of bones breaking made everyone's hair stand on end. That sound of bones grinding against each other even made the kings appear unnatural. This kind of torture was too vicious. They could all tell that Long Chen had used a secret art to amplify Ji Chang Kong's senses, making his sense of pain ten times greater. In such a scenario, just being pricked by a needle would feel unbearably painful. Ji Chang Kong, due to my beautiful wife's enlightening words, I've become magnanimous. As long as you endure the five heart living lotus punishment, I can leave the enmity between us as is. However, your mouth is so filthy, and you actually want to infuriate me so I kill you. So if you want to play, I will play with you. A cruel smile appeared on Long Chen's face. Men Qi blushed and rapped Long Chen a few times. He was always so crass without paying attention to the situation. But the fact that he was talking like this meant he had returned to his old self. He had walked out of the shadow of Little Snow's death, allowing her to sigh with relief. Long Chen continued. Did you think I wouldn't see through your little scheme? I'll show that the Zhuanchen Dao sect that is still the same as ever with each one of its disciples safe. However, your mouth is irritating, so I've decided not to listen to you any longer. You can just sing instead. Yes, just like that. Although that grunting is very irritating to listen to, it's much better to listen to than when you talk. Everyone cast a sympathetic glance at Ji Chang Kong. He could have provoked anyone, but he provoked Long Chen. 
Wasn't that just asking for it? Bones ground, and Ji Chang Kong's pained grunts continued to ring out. The dragon blood warriors were fine, as Long Chen had long since led them onto a different kind of path. But even the kings found this a bit unbearable. That sound was like nails on a chalkboard. It was an indescribable, hateful sound. Guo Ran, come over and try it. My foot is getting tired, said Long Chen. Guo Ran hastily went over and imitated him. He stamped his foot on Ji Chang Kong's jaw, causing him to instantly vomit blood. Fool, pay attention to your power. Use the tip of your foot and evenly distribute your power, rubbing back and forth. With Long Chen's guidance, Guo Ran quickly grasped the quintessence of it. That hair-raising sound once more began. The Pill Valley's king almost couldn't bear it. Several times, he opened his mouth, but no sound came out. This sound was driving him crazy, but he was afraid of Long Chen cursing him once more. Long Chen was like a dung-covered stone. He was both smelly and hard. He dared to curse even his sect's higher-ups. That was why he, the ancient race's king, and the ancient family alliance's king all didn't make a sound. They simply acted as if they were busy concentrating on something inside. They even suspected that with Long Chen's ruthlessness, even if Ji Chang Kong died, he might still torture his corpse. In all their years of cultivation, they had seen countless people, but they had never seen such a domineering youth. Domineering wasn't even enough to describe it. At early sea expansion, he didn't even place kings in his eyes. That was absolutely crazy, and their first time seeing such a thing. Suddenly, the sky brightened. They flew out of space, appearing right outside the Zhuanshan Dao sect when they appeared. They saw a couple hundred foundation forging experts crazily attacking the Zhuanshan Dao sect, as well as five half-step kings guarding the outside. There were also two elders standing the air, letting loose runes that crazily attacked the Zhuanshan Dao sect's protective formation. Those two were shockingly kings. Li Changfeng and the others were stunned upon arriving. They had been prepared to see the Zhuanshan Dao sect destroyed and its attackers fleeing upon seeing them. In that case, the only thing they would be able to do was to launch a vicious counterattack. But seeing two kings attacking the formation with it only trembling, not breaking, they were shocked. Furthermore, those two kings were sweating. They had clearly been attacking for a long time. Are the Zhuanshan Dao sect's protective formations also terrifying? The Pill Valley's king was stunned. He hastily circulated his spiritual strength to probe the formation. Yuan Spirit Stones. There are actually so many Yuan Spirit Stones. He saw Shu Wuhan within the Zhuanshan Dao sect, with thousands of Yuan Spirit Stones being arranged according to a certain pattern around her. That was the core of the protective formation. With Yuan Spirit Stones supporting it, the protective formation was strengthened over a hundred times. Even kings needed time to break it. All the kings were moved by the Yuan Spirit Stones. Those were exceedingly precious existences within the Martial Heaven continent. The two corrupt paths kings saw the huge flying boat suddenly appear with a mass of kings on it and were shocked. Run. Chapter 954 Killing Zhu Yu Translator. Born to be the corrupt paths two kings didn't even think before turning to flee. Rumble. A huge broadsword crashed down toward them. This was Feng Zingli's attack, and it felt like the world was filled with this sword. Whether you went into the heavens or dove into the earth. You couldn't possibly dodge it. All the kings were startled by Feng Zingli's power, especially the kings from Pill Valley, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance. Although their cultivation bases had all reached the king realm, in terms of actual combat power, practically no one could challenge the heaven-splitting battle sects fighters. Split the heavens three. Both the corrupt kings were drawn into his attack. The two of them hastily activated their king items to block. Space exploded. Everyone was shocked to see their king items both shatter from just this one attack. The ancient race's king gulped. He thanked his luck that he hadn't provoked Feng Zingli, or he would definitely have died. The two corrupt kings coughed up blood. One of them suddenly took out a yellow talisman and crushed it. Not good. It's a heaven-fleeing talisman. Li Changfeng instantly recognized the rune. That was a treasure that had circulated down from ancient times. Such talismans were things that practically no one could make in the current era. If he wasn't full of despair, that king also wouldn't have had the heart to waste such a treasure. Feng Zingli refused to believe it and once more attacked. But inconceivably, his attack went right through the two of them. It was like they were just a shadow. His attack was unable to reach them. One of the corrupt kings sneered. Zhuanshan Dao sect. Just wait. We'll return. After crushing the heaven-fleeing talisman, they were surrounded by strange runes. Space began to twist and it was possible to see that they were about to be teleported away. Suddenly, 
The sound of a sword coming out its sheath rang out like the roar of a dragon. A blinding light pierced through the void. Those two corrupt kings were both blown apart. The soft snick of a sword returning to its sheath sounded in everyone's ears. They all looked in shock at Ling Yunzi. That attack had come from him. They didn't dare to believe it. His attack was able to ignore spatial fluctuations and break the heaven-fleeing talisman? Although sword cultivators were supposed to be the number one attackers, Ling Yunzi's sword seemed to have already reached a higher realm. That kind of realm was something none of the other kings here could touch. Everyone, there's no need to be so surprised. Junior Sword Dao is a bit special and has a special effect against that kind of spatial energy, explained Ling Yunzi calmly. Although he was calm, the other king's hearts clenched. That sword attack of his was absolutely horrifying. It was full of destructive will that no one could block. Although Feng Zingli's attack had also been amazing, its power was within the scope of their understanding. But Ling Yunzi's attack made them see something from a higher realm. Do you really think you can escape now? Zhu Yu, do you think I'm not here? The deaths of their two kings caused panic amongst the corrupt experts. They fled in every direction. But by this point, that was not possible. Long Chen ignored everyone else and arrived right in front of Zhu Yu, blocking his escape route. The corrupt half's half-step kings were killed by a random blow from Lu Minghan. But after killing the half-step kings, he stopped. He didn't kill the foundation forging experts. Guo Ran and the others charged forward. Their surging morale that was supposed to have been used against the remote heaven gang now ended up on the corrupt path. Long Chen. Zhu Yu stared at Long Chen with terror. Double dragon destruction. Long Chen didn't waste any words. He directly unleashed his strongest attack. And Zhu Yu immediately vomited blood. A scale-covered hand then slammed onto Zhu Yu's body, directly blowing him apart. His soul was also extinguished. Long Chen was all too familiar with Zhu Yu's techniques. Originally, even if he had wanted to kill him, it would have taken a few exchanges to do so. But Zhu Yu had been too terrified of him to even fight back. As a result, he was killed in an instant. Long Chen found it a bit unexpected that he had killed him in one blow. He also found it a bit hard to accept. Standing in the air, he sighed. He should be happy to have killed Zhu Yu. Little Snow's death was now fully avenged, and he could put down the burden in his heart. But in reality, he had already put down that burden after Men Qi's plea, so he didn't know what he was feeling now that he had killed Zhu Yu. The chief offenders had been killed, but Little Snow hadn't been revived. Men Qi's words were right. The only reason he had wanted to kill so many people was to vent. He wanted to numb the pain and guilt he felt for Little Snow. Although Little Snow had died, there was a chance for his revival. The body wouldn't be his, but the soul and memories would remain. Then Little Snow would be the same Little Snow. Long Chen suddenly felt as if he was incredibly weary. He needed to change his tempo, or with this kind of mental state, there was no way for him to deal with future challenges. He had to find his hopeful and energetic self. Kill. Suddenly, a furious roar brought him back to reality. He saw Wild summon the barbarian blood bronze body and kill a foundation forging expert. Men Qi, Tang Wan'er, Gu Yang, Guo Ran, Yu Zifeng, Li Qi, and Song Mingyuan were also going all out. Even the dragon blood warriors were in the fray. Seeing all these incredibly powerful disciples battling across realms as if it were easy made Li Changfeng feel like flowers were blooming in his heart. He hadn't expected that this eastern wasteland branch of the Zhuanshan Dao sect would give birth to such a terrifying batch of disciples. That was especially true of Men Qi, Gu Yang, and the others. They were killing foundation forging experts easily. In fact, these disciples might even be a match for the head sect's elites. Ling Yunzi stood there with his hands clasped behind him. From the start, he only had eyes for Yu Zifeng. At this point, Yu Zifeng had killed over 10 foundation forging experts. Other than Wild, he was the one who had killed the most experts. That clearly showed the terrifying attack power of sword cultivators. Over 200 foundation forging experts from the corrupt path didn't even last a couple of hours before being exterminated to the last. Not one of the dragonblood warriors had died. That kind of combat power was shocking. Since everyone has come so far, why not have a chat inside the Zhuanshan Dao sect? Said Li Changfeng. Then we'll disturb you. The Pill Valley's king immediately agreed. Feng Zingli and Ling Yunzi also agreed. Seeing that their sect master had returned with this group of unfamiliar people. The disciples that had remained in the Zhuanshan Dao sect were all confused. Big sister, it's been hard on you. Long Chen smiled at Xu Wuhan after she dissipated the barrier. Wuhan, let me introduce you. These two are seniors from the head Zhuanshan Dao sect, said Ouyang Kiyuayu. 
Disciple greet seniors. Shu Wuhan quickly bowed. It's fine. Go back and rest. Qiu you and Long Chen come over. Let's talk, said Li Changfang. As a result, the three kings from Pil Valley, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance, as well as Ling Yanzi and Feng Zingli, were invited inside the palace within the Zhuangshan Dao sect. They all sat down. In this kind of situation, let alone Long Chen, not even Ouyang Qiuaya would normally be allowed to participate. But Li Changfeng had grasped Long Chen's temperament. He didn't dare to make him stand, or he didn't know what would happen. Compared to Long Chen, Ouyang Qiuaya was trembling in fear. But Long Chen didn't stand on courtesy, sitting in a chair without a care. He knew a good show was about to start. Li Changfeng started things off, saying, Due to Long Chen's matter, everyone has rushed over here from so far away. I, Li Changfeng, will represent the Zhuangshan Dao sect in thanking you all for your care. The three kings from Pil Valley, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance said a few courteous words. But Feng Zingli refused to play along with this, impatiently saying, We're all busy, so if you have something to say, hurry up and say it. After I say a few final words to Long Chen, I have to be on my way. His words were coarse, but Li Changfeng didn't get angry because of them. He knew that the heaven-splitting battle sects people were simply like this. Even when speaking to their elders, they spoke like this. All right then, to save everyone's time, I'll get to the point. Do the brothers from Pill Valley, the ancient races, and the ancient family alliance, have anything to suggest on how Long Chen's matter was handled? Asked Li Changfeng. The three kings exchanged a glance. It was the ancient races king who said, The ancient races always develop peacefully without interfering with the righteous path. We've been harmonious for many years. But this time, Long Chen went too far. Even if he had conflicts with the ancient races disciples, he could have simply said them out loud and everyone could have properly resolved their grievances without killing. Furthermore, he killed far too many a snickering sound from Long Chen caused him to come to a sudden stop. Chapter 955 Not having any of it translator. Born to be we could have resolved our differences with words? Who do you think your ancient races are? They were absolutely tyrannical within the immemorial path, forcing aside anyone who found treasures before them, and if they resisted, they would kill them. Do you not know the character of your ancient race disciples? Although you claim to be neutral, just how many outrageous acts have you committed? A wolf shouldn't act like a sheep, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen. Oh young Qiuayu pushed Long Chen lightly, meaning that he should take it easy. The ancient races king's expression sank. Even if the ancient races were in the wrong, you can't just slaughter them all. Did I slaughter them all? Didn't I leave you with quite a few? Long Chen smiled icily. Quite a few my ass. Tens of thousands entered, but only a few thousand escaped. Furthermore, not one of the peak experts remained. He raged. So what? The winner is king, and the loser is nothing. If I lost. Not one of my people would have lived, by not killing all of them. I was already being nice to your ancient races, said Long Chen indifferently. You're absolutely shameless. You didn't kill them all because you didn't have that chance. Considering how vicious you are, if you had the chance, you wouldn't have let any of them live. You're not me. So how would you know that? Didn't I end up releasing the righteous experts in the end? Are your eyes too blind to see how I always repay enmity with kindness? Asked Long Chen. You. I. You, I, do you still not know how to speak? Furthermore, don't point at me with your finger. Did your parents not tell you that pointing at people is rude? The ancient race expert was about to go crazy. When it came to power, ten Long Chens were not his match. But when it came to a battle of tongues, ten of him would still be toyed to death by Long Chen. He took a deep breath and forced himself to stay calm. Then when the ancient races later came to the Zhuangshan Dao sect to reason things out, why did you kill them all? Reason things out? Are you sure your brain isn't made of crap? When you reason things out with others, do you first destroy their sect and torture their people? Those idiots from your ancient races were going to destroy the entire Zhuangshan Dao sect instead of killing them. Was I supposed to treat them to a meal? Are you sure your head is screwed on right? You know what? Speaking of which, didn't you just say that even if others were in the wrong, you couldn't slaughter them all? So why didn't those ancient race experts just properly talk instead of wanting to kill us? When you try to advise others, you should first think about your own conduct, sneered Long Chen. The ancient race expert clenched his fists so hard that they turned white. He realized a cruel fact. When it came to eloquence, he wasn't even close to the same level as Long Chen. If this continued, 
He would just lose more face. He switched topics, shouting, What did you use to kill them all? Everyone's ears perked up. Back then, Long Chen had used the Eastern Wasteland Bell. That scene had been recorded with photographic jades, but the images recorded by the photographic jades were muddled and unclear. All it showed was a blinding flash of light. After that flash, the king items shattered and their wielders were killed. Those photographic jades had been transmitted popularly throughout the Eastern Wasteland. All the kings present had seen them and were very curious as to what that terrifying weapon was. That was just a fart, said Long Chen. Impossible. You're lying. It's the truth. When the air is bottled up for too long in the body, it will ferment and become another kind of energy. When the sunlight, wind, temperature, and atmosphere have all reached the perfect level, then adding on some exterior force, it's possible to release a heaven-shaking power, said Long Chen. What a fart, raged the ancient race expert. You're right, it really is an amazing fart. With this one fart, I killed your ancient race experts. Long Chen nodded. He naturally wouldn't say anything about the Eastern Wasteland Bell. He was just trying to infuriate this bastard. Before leaving, the Eastern Wasteland Bell had told Long Chen to keep its existence secret. Otherwise, it would bring boundless karma. Although he still didn't know what exactly the existence known as karma was supposed to be, he could sense the Eastern Wasteland Bell's kind intentions. So he chose to trust it, and he didn't say a thing about it. This irritating attitude infuriated the ancient race expert but he was unable to do anything to Long Chen. So you refuse to tell the truth. Is that it? I'm telling you the truth. If you don't believe me, there's nothing I can do about that. Long Chen shrugged. With Ling Yanzi and Feng Zingli here, he didn't have anything to be afraid of. Ling Yanzi supported him 100%, and Long Chen was pleasantly surprised to find that he was a true expert amongst experts. He was worthy of being a sword cultivator. With such a powerful backer, if he really acted cowardly, then he wouldn't be Long Chen. In truth, the main goal for all these experts in coming here was to find out about that mysterious weapon. Any of their powers would go crazy to obtain such a treasure. But since Long Chen refused to say, the ancient race expert didn't dare to push him. The atmosphere became awkward for a long moment before Li Changfeng said, since Long Chen refuses to say, let's just let that be. After all, that's one of his personal secrets and it doesn't threaten any sect he can keep it secret without harm. Furthermore, that thing left as soon as it finished attacking. I'm sure with everyone's wisdom, you all deduced that someone like Long Chen is unable to control such a terrifying weapon. The Pill Valley's king said, we know that, but such a dangerous thing shouldn't be kept in a child's hands. Young people are impetuous, and who knows if in a fit of worry, whether or not he'll lose control of himself? We're doing this for Long Chen's own good. Long Chen was amazed by this level of shamelessness. They were clearly trying to find some clues regarding the Eastern Wasteland Bell's whereabouts, but apparently, it was for his own good. Long Chen was just about to retort when Ouyang Qiuayu viciously glared at him. That glare gave him a chill. Although Ouyang Qiuayu was a half-step king with a thousand years of experience, Long Chen's display today was making her worry that her soul would flee in fright. His conduct was pushing the limits of her imagination, even as a youth. She hadn't dared to think of the things Long Chen was doing. The Pill Valley's king had clearly expressed that he wouldn't continue investigating. So she had an urge to put a stopper in Long Chen's mouth so that he couldn't continue speaking. Right now, she was praying for time to go faster so that these powerful kings would hurry up and leave. Each time a king got angry, she would be on the edge of her seat, afraid Long Chen would be killed with the swat of a palm. Many thanks senior brother for your kindness. Long Chen is young, and as his seniors. We didn't teach him properly, causing you to worry, laughed Li Changfeng. Long Chen was speechless. Seeing Ling Yunzi's calm face, it seemed he was used to this kind of thing and numb to it. As for Feng Zingli, his mouth was curled into a mocking sneer. Is there anything else? If not, I'll leave first. My back has been bothering me lately. I'm tired, so I think I'll take a nap. Long Chen stood, stretching his waist and yawning. He really was tired. The pressure had been extremely great during this time. With Menki's help, he finally relaxed, and only then was he able to sense how tired he was. Lu Minghan's expression sank. He was about to chide him when a look from Li Changfeng stopped him. He definitely didn't want to see Long Chen once more curse Lu Minghan in front of these people, nor did he want them to become any more hostile. He was already clear on Long Chen's temperament. He definitely couldn't be handled with ordinary means. Long Chen's decision to leave caused Li Changfeng to smile without saying anything. But the kings from Pill Valley, 
The ancient races, and the ancient family alliance all didn't know what to do. They looked at each other. The Pill Valley's king thickened his face and said, Long Chen, it seems you gained quite a bit in the immemorial path. Long Chen sneered inside. After he had come back from the immemorial path, the Dragonblood warriors had all become celestials. That was a shocking move, and Long Chen had long since expected someone would ask him about it. Patting some dust off his sleeves, he indifferently said, My gains were all right. I can just barely keep myself clothed and not hungry. I wonder, just how many Yuan spirit stones do you have? Asked the Pill Valley's king. Why do you want to know? Long Chen stared at him. Cough. What I mean is, if you do have more, I can represent Pill Valley to purchase a few. He added. Purchase? I doubt it'll be that simple. If I bring out the Yuan spirit stones, you'll ask me to compensate you. I killed your two disciples. I killed that many ancient race experts. And I killed so many disciples from the ancient families. But you want to purchase Yuan spirit stones from me? Do you think I'm as stupid as you? Your people are dead. So you'll ask these two elders for some compensation. There's no way to further investigate your people's deaths. So you want to get a few Yuan spirit stones instead. For a person to be shameless to this extent, I really have to admire you. Were all your years of cultivation spent on thickening your face? I don't mind telling you that everything I have, I risked my life for. You want to take what's mine? Fuck the hell off. All your losses were caused by yourselves and are unrelated to me. Don't play this kind of game with me, because I'm not having any of it, sneered Long Chen. The Three Kings' expression sank. Chapter 956 The Essence of Greed Translator Born to be Long Chen. Pay attention to your words. Don't be rude. Shouted Oh Young Kiyu. Inside, she grumbled. Just what was this little brat thinking? Even if he wanted to refuse, couldn't he have just directly said that he didn't have any? But he just had to insult them. Those were kings he was insulting. Being disrespectful to them was a slap in their faces. And so Oh Young Kiyu was driven to anger. Courtesy is for reasonable people. But I can't be courteous to hypocrites wanting to kill me. These three came here with the excuse of avenging their dead, but it was all for my secrets. If it weren't for sect leader and third uncle, who knows how I would be captured, or even what torture I would be suffering? You want me to be polite to such people? It's just regretful my cultivation base isn't high enough, or I'd personally cut off their heads, said Long Chen indifferently. The three kings' expressions turned ugly. Of course what they wanted was Long Chen's secrets, but having that stated so openly infuriated them. Now they not only wanted to learn about the Eastern Wasteland Bell, but they also wanted the Yuan Spirit Stones. Yuan Spirit Stones were extremely precious in the Martial Heaven continent. Other than the Eastern Wasteland Bell and the Yuan Spirit Stones, the most important thing was how Long Chen had been able to turn ordinary people into Celestials. That was an ability every power desired. Good brat, you have some courage. Just say it and Third Uncle will help you cut off their heads, laughed Feng Zingli. Everyone jumped in fright. If such words had come from another person, they would think it is nothing more than a threat. But anyone who understood the heaven-splitting battle sect knew that these fellows didn't know what a threat was. If they said they would do something, they would do it. But Long Chen shook his head. Many thanks for your good intentions, but I'm a man. I will personally avenge my enmities. Li Chang Feng sighed with relief. He really had been worried. One was young and impetuous, while one was incomparably tyrannical. They could do anything. Long Chen. You're slandering us. I, Lu Xianhua, am someone with status and prestige within Pill Valley. How could I possibly do something so immoral because of greed? Said the Pill Valley's king. The other two also glared at Long Chen, appearing infuriated. Now they even looked down upon Oh Young Kiyu a bit as well as Long Chen. Just now when Feng Zingli had grabbed his sword, they had turned green with fright. But as soon as Long Chen refused, they once more displayed their insulted expressions. Lu Xianhua. Long Chen's eyes suddenly lit up and he sneered. Having stayed in the Pill Tower for quite some time, he had learned quite a few secrets from Che Li Huo and Fang Chang. The major matters of the Pill Tower were all reported to an elder Lu of Pill Valley. Thinking of that, Long Chen said, Lu Xianhua, you really are brazen. You ignored Pill Valley's rules to interfere with the mundane world's matters? Good. Very good. I look favorably upon you. Nonsense. What are you saying? Lu Xianhua immediately became uneasy. He regretted reporting his name in his fury. He suddenly realized that when Long Chen had heard his name, his eyes had brightened slightly. It seemed he knew some things. Lu Xianhua, I'm not talking nonsense. 
I'm sure you know the best that if the remote heaven gang wanted to ask for help from Pill Valley, they would have to go through the Pill Tower. And the Eastern Wastelands Pill Tower is supervised by you, Lu Xianhua. When you received the news, instead of reporting it to Pill Valley, you came here on your own in an attempt to get selfish profit, said Long Chen. Lu Xianhua was stunned. He hadn't expected that Long Chen would know so much. Even Li Changfeng and the others were startled, as even they hadn't known this. Who said I came here selfishly? I, I only came here due to the higher ups orders. I came here to mediate things with kindness. Novaloon.com CM Long Chen waved his hand, cutting him off. Don't you think it's boring to spout such nonsense? You're the one most clear on the truth. Right now, you should just say your prayers. Pray that this matter doesn't grow any bigger. If your opponents learn about it, they'll inform the Pill Valley's higher ups. Then your good days will come to an end. Although Lu Xianhua concealed himself well, everyone here, with the exception of Feng Zingli, was a wily old fox. They all saw through some clues. Li Changfeng smiled, admiration in his eyes. He hadn't expected that Long Chen would know so much at such a young age. He was even able to handle Pill Valley's expert. Long Chen, don't talk rubbish. Brother Lu Xianhua came here with good intentions to mediate things. That kindness is something that blinds the sun and the moon. No matter how you put it, being peaceful is best for everyone. If we can turn a big matter into a small matter, and then just wipe away that small matter, wouldn't it be wonderful for all, said Li Changfeng. His words subtly implied that the three of them should not go too far. After all, Long Chen was standing on the right side of things, and the Zhuangshan Dao sect would protect him. He was essentially saying that if their attitudes were better, there might be some room for negotiations. But if they weren't, then they had better be prepared for this matter to blow up into a huge one. If they made things hard on the Zhuangshan Dao sect, the Zhuangshan Dao sect could also make things hard for them all. Li Changfeng's meaning was clear. Everyone should just try to peacefully discuss a way to let this matter be, and then this matter would be over. This counterattack of Long Chen's was extremely effective. The one Li Changfeng had been most worried about had been Lu Xianhua, but now Lu Xianhua was caught by Long Chen. He didn't dare to do anything more, so now this matter was easy to handle. Furthermore, Long Chen's guess was also entirely correct. In such a huge power like Pill Valley, who didn't have a bunch of opponents competing with them? Lu Xianhua was silent, indicating he was retreating from this matter. He had never seen a person like Long Chen. He was practically a madman. But the most terrifying thing was that this madman knew how to use his brain. Long Chen was someone who dared to do anything. Before he was assured of being able to kill him, he didn't want to provoke him further. As soon as they saw that he didn't speak, the other two kings sensed things had taken an unencouraging turn. The ancient races king said, no matter who is right or wrong, when you look at the results, it is my ancient races that suffered the most harm. Brother Changfeng, don't you think you owe us an explanation? He didn't want to talk to Long Chen, as he had tasted the sharpness of Long Chen's tongue. A single sentence from him could choke him, so he'd rather talk to Li Changfeng. He represented the ancient races, and even if they were in the wrong, so many of them had died. That was a slap in the face to all the ancient races, and he had to gain back some prestige. Otherwise, the ancient races' dignity would be gone. The ancient races and ancient family alliances' kings had come with the approval of their higher-ups. If they didn't even dare to make a sound after suffering such losses, they would become the laughing stock of the cultivation world. Li Changfeng nodded. That is true. Just looking at the results instead of the course of events, it does seem like Long Chen went a bit too far. Long Chen was just about to open his mouth when Ou Yang Qiu pulled him by the neck and clamped a hand over his mouth, not letting him say a word. She was definitely afraid of Long Chen now. Li Changfeng pretended he didn't see Ou Yang Qiu actions, continuing. But after all, Long Chen is young, he's only in his early 20s, and his ability to understand right and wrong is still in the midst of developing. This matter can't be blamed on children. If someone needs to be blamed, then the only ones to blame are the older fellows like us. We didn't give enough care to our children. Long Chen, no matter what the reasons for your actions were, you killed too many people, and that's wrong. Even if it was justified, it's not justified to kill so many. For peace and harmony. Split a few of your Yuan spirit stones with them as an apology. You shouldn't feel so aggrieved. As they're all people with status and prestige, they have to maintain their dignity no matter what. You'll understand when you grow up. So be a good child. Li Changfeng talked gently as if he was chiding a child and telling him to apologize. 
There was no way around that, as Long Chen was only amenable to soft coaxing like this. If he pushed him too hard, it would be over. Only then did Ouyang Qiuayu let go of him, letting him speak. Looking at Ouyang Qiuayu's beseeching expression, Long Chen sighed. Fine, an arm can't beat a leg, and a man can't beat a pack of wolves. Considering the sect master's face, I'll bring out everything I have. A bitter expression of pain washed over Long Chen's face. The three kings were delighted. Long Chen had formed a relationship with the aboriginals in the immemorial path, so they had definitely gifted him quite a few Yuan spirit stones. Just from the Yuan spirit stones supporting the Grand Protective Formation, it was clear Long Chen had to have an enormous amount. Ah, thank you. You know, the truth is that we were all ordered by our higher-ups and had no choice but to come here. Otherwise, we wouldn't have thrown away our face to make things hard on a child, said the ancient family alliance's king. Exactly. We were also forced. After all, we're all people with certain statuses, and we had no choice. Ah, I won't talk about it, said the ancient race's king, but the light shining in his eyes completely sold him out. Good child, we definitely won't let you suffer. If you need anything in the future, just send a message to Pill Valley. I, Lu Xianhua, will definitely come to support you. When Long Chen had said that he would bring out everything, Lu Minghan's expression had changed and he had been about to say something when Li Changfeng stopped him with a look. Here, this is everything I have. From now on, we can unite and work together peacefully. Long Chen extended a hand, ignoring their nonsense. That pained expression was still on his face. When the three of them saw what was in Long Chen's hands, their applause and praise came to a sudden stop, and their expressions turned incredibly ugly. Are you trying to dupe us? The Lu character in Lu Xian Hu is a different one from Lu Minghan. Chapter 957 No Need to Pay When You Play Someone to Death Translator Born to be sparkling Yuan Spirit Stones lay in Long Chen's hand. They were definitely Yuan Spirit Stones, as their specific spiritual Yuan seeped out of them. However, there were only three pieces of them in his hand. Yes, just three. The three kings glared at him, their eyes almost spitting flames. Thinking of how Long Chen had put on such a pained expression, then adding on their previous expressions of delight. These three Yuan spirit stones were a resounding slap in the face. Who has time to dupe you? Everything else I had was used on the protective formation. Now, I only have these three. They're the only ones I have for my own use. Raged Long Chen. The three of them didn't believe a word he said. He was clearly being a cheapskate. But they were powerless to do anything. Hand over your spatial ring and let us investigate it. If there really is nothing, we'll leave. Said the ancient family alliance's king his eye on the spatial ring Long Chen was wearing. Long Chen's expression suddenly changed, and he shouted, Fuck off. Why should I let you investigate my spatial ring? It's mine. The three of them immediately assumed he had to have plenty of Yuan spirit stones in his spatial ring. The ancient race's king shouted, HMPH, if you really were telling the truth, then hand over your spatial ring. If you really don't have any, we'll leave just like this. You, you really are intolerable bullies. Lu Xianhua. What do you say? Demanded Long Chen. Lu Xianhu immediately became stuck in an awkward position. Although he was greedy for Long Chen's Yuan spirit stones, he also felt that offending a madman like Long Chen wasn't a smart decision. The gains might not make up for the losses. But in the end, he stood with the other two, thickening his face and saying, Long Chen, don't make a fuss. It's rude to try duping people as prestigious as us. Oh young Qiuayu side inside. A small sea expansion brat had forced a king to this point, making it so he could only say such cowardly words. Perhaps only Long Chen was capable of that. Lu Xianhua continued, but we won't bully you. You killed two of my beloved apprentices and exterminated countless members of the ancient races and ancient families' disciples. How about you just split us half the Yuan spirit stones in your spatial ring? Li Changfeng nodded inside. Lu Xianhua had already conceded. Li Changfeng's guess was that since Long Chen could use over a thousand Yuan spirit stones on the protective formation, he had to have at least around 10,000 Yuan spirit stones. Parting with half of them might be a bit painful, but Long Chen really had caused too much trouble this time. Even his heart was pounding hard. If this matter could be settled just like this, it was probably the best case scenario. All right, those are your own words. Here, Long Chen harumphed and took off his spatial ring. Tossing it to Lu Xianhua. Lu Xianhua extended his divine sense into it, and his expression instantly became exceedingly ugly. This spatial ring was incredibly precious. It had reached the treasure item level. 
The space inside was dozens of miles wide, and there were even tens of treasure items inside it. The medicinal pills, armor, and materials inside were innumerable. There was a Yuan spirit stone inside. Yes, just one. It lay there, isolated and alone. Its sparkling light was like a silent laugh of derision. HMPH, you're the one who said that you would only take half. Originally, I only had four Yuan spirit stones after setting up the grand formation. So now you have to give me back one of the three I gave you. Then I can properly hoard those two Yuan spirit stones, sneered Long Chen. Long Chen had long since expected such a scene. All his valuables were within the primal chaos space. This spatial ring was just bait for others. With just a thought, he could move items from the spatial ring to his primal chaos space. The spaces and treasures inside were essentially connected. To make his spatial ring seem more real, he had even added a few treasure items. But they were all garbage. Most of them were damaged. Considering what had happened in the immemorial path, it would only make sense for him to have some battle spoils. If he didn't even put one treasure item inside, it would appear fake. As for the treasure items obtained in the battle against the corrupt path, they had all been given to Ouyang Qiuayu. The king items had broken, and Long Chen hadn't kept any of the treasure items. They had all been left for Ouyang Qiuayu so that she could raise the Zhuanchen Dao sect in the future. I don't believe you. You definitely left your Yuan spirit stones on one of your confidants. Raged the ancient race's king when Lu Xian Hu passed him the spatial ring. Idiot. Yuan spirit stones are spiritual treasures of heaven and earth. Only my treasure class spatial ring is able to just barely manage to store the Yuan spirit stones. The others don't have such a high level spatial ring. Sneered Long Chen. Hearing that, they realized it was the truth. Was that supposed to mean Long Chen only had this spatial ring? Then they would basically be leaving empty handed. Furthermore, from his confidence, he didn't seem afraid of them investigating further. Then thinking of his feigned changed expression, they all realized they had been duped. They had already promised that they would leave like this. To go back on their word was just smearing themselves. Which one of you was the one who said Long Chen was just about to continue pushing them when Li Changfeng suddenly said, Long Chen, there's no longer any need for you to stay here. Bring our two guests to experience the Zhuanchen Dao sect scenery. Don't neglect your respected guests. Li Changfen also realized that no one could force Long Chen to spit out more Yuan spirit stones if he didn't want to. He directly began to act as if Long Chen really didn't have any more of them. There was no longer any need for Long Chen to stay here. This disobedient disciple should be sent off as quickly as possible. Only once he was gone would this matter be easier to settle. All right, then disciple will take his leave. Long Chen bowed slightly to Li Changfeng. After all, the feeling he got from Li Changfeng wasn't that bad. He was someone worthy of respect. Ling Yunzi and Feng Zingli disapproved of this kind of negotiation, especially Feng Zingli. He was sneering disdainfully at their display. The three of them left. Ling Yunzi said, Long Chen, you can accompany senior brother Feng for now. I came over here not just to see you, but also to see Zifeng. I'll go see him first. Once Ling Yunzi had left, Feng Zingli patted Long Chen on the shoulder and said, Brat you have some guts. I like it. Feng Zingli greatly appreciated Long Chen. He had always thought only the heaven-splitting battle sect could raise a figure like him who was unafraid of heaven or earth. Third uncle, you came this time too, probed Long Chen. Come, let's find a place to talk. Long Chen hadn't expected that the place Feng Zingli would choose was a secluded valley outside of the Zhuanchen Dao sect on the way. Long Chen learned that when Feng Zingli had been roused out of meditation to go handle his matter, he had irritably started a fight with his senior who had ordered him. Unable to defeat Ring Senior, he could only dejectedly come over. He, I was pretty pissed when I got here, but now I'm happy. I didn't expect you to be this mature, laughed Feng Zingli. Third uncle, you rushed all the way here over for this little one. Long Chen was grateful. He hadn't expected the heaven-splitting battle sect to look after him so well. Don't talk about such useless things. The matter from the Jiuli secret realm has already passed. Our heaven-splitting battle sect protects its people, but that also depends on the person. Our disciples have to be tough and courageous. A greedy little fellow willing to work together with others to kill someone for greed can't count as a disciple of my heaven-splitting battle sect. The fact that you killed him is a good thing, or it's unknown how much embarrassment he would have brought to the sect in the future. That little fellow transmitted the second form of split the heavens to you last time, and he also received some benefits from you and returned to the sect when he did. The sect found you to be a red-blooded man who cares for ties and relationships. 
And so it was decided that we would not pursue you for learning Split the Heavens. Furthermore, you were pretty good. Killing expert after expert during this time. The higher-ups are satisfied. Especially with what you did in the immemorial path. To tell the truth, the heaven-splitting battle sect needs fearless geniuses like you. Your ability to cause trouble is perfect. Even the old man said that although you haven't formally been accepted into the heaven-splitting battle sect, you will still be viewed as one of our disciples, said Feng Zingli. Long Chen really hadn't expected the heaven-splitting battle sect to be so magnanimous and understanding. Instead of finding trouble for him because he had killed one of their disciples, they took him in as one of their own. Come, don't just stupidly stand there. Use the second form of split the heavens with your full power, said Feng Zingli. Full power. What? Are you afraid you'll kill me? HMPH. The stronger your attack, the better. If you satisfy me, I'll give you a pleasant surprise. Long Chen laughed at himself. What was he worrying about? Feng Zingli was a king, and he wasn't able to threaten him. Then be careful. Long Chen took a deep breath, taking out Blood Drinker, a fierce aura sword into the sky. Come, don't disappoint me. Long Chen's divine ring appeared behind him. Four stars revolved in his eyes, and green scales covered his body. His aura continued to rise over time, causing intense rumbling. Good brat, you have some skill, praised Feng Zingli. The reason he was so excited wasn't because of how powerful Long Chen's aura was, but because of that terrifying will erupting from the depths of Long Chen's soul. That will could shatter the world and perfectly accorded with the will of Split the Heavens. Split the Heavens 2. Chapter 958 Split the Heavens Divine Runes Translator Born to be not only had Long Chen summoned the four-star battle armor, but he had also brought out the green dragon battle armor. His power was pushed to its absolute peak. Boom. Feng Zingli let out a single punch, stopping Blood Drinker barehanded. A powerful key wave blew Long Chen away. This is the power of a king. Long Chen was shocked. Long Chen felt like his arms were about to break. Although he had always had a high opinion of a king's power, he hadn't expected that he was still so much weaker. Feng Zingli hadn't even taken out a weapon. Barehanded. Against his strongest attack, he injured him. The difference in power was like heaven and earth. Originally, Long Chen had thought that he would have the power to fight against kings once he consumed the Dragon Tiger Heavenly Explosion Pill. But that confidence was shattered by one punch from Feng Zingli. Your arms didn't break? Ha ha ha. Your physical body is quite strong. Feng Zingli's eye shone as he looked at Long Chen. Third uncle's power is mighty. I'm completely convinced. Said Long Chen sincerely. He. You don't need to be discouraged. In truth, my fist contained the power of my cultivation base. It was imbued with powerful spatial strength. So I'm surprised your arms didn't break, and you didn't even cough up blood. Don't blame me for being vicious. If I didn't test your true power, I wouldn't dare to transmit the fourth form of split the heavens to you, said Feng Zingli. The fourth form. Long Chen was ecstatic. As his cultivation base grew. The second form of split the heavens was no longer able to keep up with his power. With your power, cultivating the third form of split the heavens should be no problem. But it's still not enough to cultivate the fourth form. Even I can only barely use it. However, it's unknown when I'll see you again. And since your physical body is this powerful, you should be able to cultivate the fourth form within two or three years, said Feng Zingli. Thank you, third uncle. In truth. The split the heavens you've learned are nothing more than the superficial forms. My guess is that the first form you obtained is something that a traitor of the heaven splitting battle sect took. We have many disciples that can come into contact with the first form. But only once you cultivate to the third form will you learn the truth. After all, split the heavens is our most powerful technique. How could it be so easy to cultivate? Although you obtained the key circulation portion and can use it, you haven't grasped the divine meaning of split the heavens. However, you, Long Chen, are truly talented. You know you have to go through all 18 acupuncture points in one go to use the second form instead of pausing at the ninth. Furthermore, your will corresponds with the principles of split the heavens. Even without obtaining the divine meaning of split the heavens, you are able to release the second form with such power. That's extraordinary. But although its power is immense, it's still not the true split the heavens. Today, I'll show you how to truly use split the heavens. Suddenly, Feng Zingli took out his broadsword. He gripped it with both hands, his feet slightly apart. An invisible current of key flowed around him. Look closely at how I circulate my spiritual yuan. Feng Zingli's spiritual yuan gradually began to soar, and Long Chen clearly sensed its movements. 
It was circulating in the same way his own did. But when his spiritual yuan entered his acupuncture points, a faint rune would light up within them. When that rune lit up, his spiritual yuan would explosively grow in power. What are these? Long Chen was shocked. These are split the heavens divine runes. They are nourished within the acupuncture points. It's like you're raising experts within your body who will go all out to help you once you use split the heavens. Now, be careful. Boom. Feng Zingli's power burst forth. His spiritual yuan poured through 18 acupuncture points, growing in power 18 times. Split the heavens too. Feng Zingli slashed his sword down at Long Chen. Break. Long Chen roared furiously, also slashing down with the second form of split the heavens. Both their moves were the same. But Long Chen was horrified to see that when his attack struck Feng Zingli's sword image, it instantly shattered. Long Chen shot back like a shooting star, piercing straight through the mountain behind him. He almost vomited blood. This attack was absolutely terrifying. This attack is something I released with the sea expansion cultivation base's power. Now you should understand why Split the Heavens is the priceless treasure of my heaven splitting battle sect, said Feng Zingli. Long Chen wiped off some blood at the corner of his mouth. A fervent look in his eyes. Split the heavens was actually much, much stronger than he had imagined. The stronger it was, the more exciting it would be for him. Third uncle, teach me, said Long Chen. He was unable to control his own excitement. Yes, but before that, there are a few things you must know. After learning split the heavens, you cannot transmit it to anyone. He, but that really is worrying over nothing. Without a body as powerful as yours and the heaven splitting battle sect's unique cannon. Others would simply kill themselves if they tried to use it, said Feng Zingli. Getting back to the point, the old man told me not to investigate your secrets. So no matter what technique you use, the sect won't care. You just can't transmit split the heavens to others. Other than that, right now, you still haven't joined the heaven splitting battle sect, but you are still one of our disciples in name. The heaven splitting battle sect's disciples must be united like brothers. You can fight. You can mess around but you can't be vicious to your own brothers. That is a grave taboo. I trust your character, but I am afraid you might lose control of your temper. So, if you do find some disciples from the heaven splitting battle sect annoying, you can beat them, but you can't kill them, said Feng Zingli. Don't worry, third uncle. I will never forget the kindness the heaven splitting battle sect has shown me. I'm not someone who forgets kindness, said Long Chen. He was sure that the straightforward men of the heaven splitting battle sect would be much easier to get along with than the people in the Zhuanshan Dao sect. Furthermore, considering he was still in the Zhuanshan Dao sect, he wouldn't have a chance to even interact with any disciples from the heaven splitting battle sect. Furthermore, TCH, I can't be bothered to say so many useless words. In any case, I trust you. Open your soul to me. I will transmit the method for condensing and raising split the heavens divine runes. Six hours later, even with Long Chen's powerful spiritual strength, he felt incredibly dizzy after being imparted Split the Heavens Secret Techniques Noveloon.com This was an extremely important part of Split the Heavens, and Feng Zingli didn't dare to be careless. Not only did he transmit the core of the techniques, but he also added in his own experience and tips, as well as some taboos. Many thanks for this favor. Third uncle don't learn from those idiots and play around with these useless means. The heaven splitting battle sect doesn't care for trivial things. If you're grateful, just remember it in your heart. Just saying thanks has no meaning. You've now learned the way to raise split the heavens divine runes. However, this is a very slow process. You must do it steadily. Once the divine runes grow strong enough, you'll see how strong split the heavens is. I've also transmitted the third and fourth forms to you. But remember, with your physical body, you absolutely cannot use the fourth form until you reach foundation forging. Otherwise, your body will explode. Warn Feng Zingli solemnly. Split the heavens had harsh requirements when it came to a person's physical strength and energy. However, its requirements for a person's cultivation base were low. When Feng Zingli had transmitted the technique to Long Chen, he had carefully examined his physical body and meridians. He found that Long Chen's physical body was even stronger than he had thought. But that made him worried that Long Chen would be young and impetuous. If he tried to use the fourth form, then it would be best if he failed to fully activate it. If he didn't hadn't reached foundation forging, he would definitely die. All right, I've done everything I came here to do. I'll be leaving, said Feng Zingli. Third uncle, Long Chen was unwilling to part. Although Feng Zingli was offhand and casual, he looked after him just like an elder. 
Long Chen was incredibly grateful. Don't cry like a woman. That courage that you brought out when you killed people right in front of kings is what makes you a man. Although the old man doesn't like it when I talk so much. Let me just say some final words. The Zhuanchen Dao sect sanctimonious fellows are irritating. I despise them. So if you're one day bullied, remember to send a message to the heaven splitting battle sect in the central plains. We'll help you. Okay. I'm really leaving now. Feng Zingli laughed and pressed his foot down. He vanished from Long Chen's vision. He had come and left so suddenly. But his refreshing and no-nonsense attitude was something Long Chen wouldn't forget for a long time. Looking in the direction Feng Zingli had left, Long Chen felt like he was in a dream. He felt overwhelmed by the heaven-splitting battle sect's favor and had never imagined that they would look after him so well. I'll definitely remember this favor and repay it when I can. Wait, I forgot to give him some Yuan Spirit Stones. After all, Yuan Spirit Stones were treasures that contained the original primal chaos energy when the world first formed. The energy within it was also beneficial to kings. But they were treasures that were most needed for sea expansion and foundation forging. They allowed a person to cultivate rapidly, which was why they were precious enough to cause people to go crazy for them. Feng Zingli had left. Long Chen sorted out his feelings and returned to the Zhuanchen Dao sect when he did. He saw a chaotic scene in front of him, as well as furious roars. Those voices were familiar. Long Chen hastily rushed over and saw that the Zhuanchen Plaza was filled with disciples, pushing through the crowd. He reached the center. He saw Guo Ran and the others, with Li Changfeng and the kings surrounding them. Lu Xianhua was cursing at the dragon blood warriors. Long Chen frowned, then glancing at the ground, he realized what had happened. A strange expression appeared on his face. Chapter 959 Punishing Guo Ran Translator Born to be Long Chen Did you do this on purpose? Long Chen had just squeezed his way to the front of the crowd when Lu Xianhua roared furiously at him. All the young experts from Pill Valley that had come with him were lying on the ground, their faces beaten and bruised. One of them had even lost both his legs. Guo Ran and the others seemed embarrassed when they saw Long Chen. Guo Ran said, Boss, they provoked us first by insulting you over and over. Nonsense. We didn't do anything like that. Those Pill Valley's disciples were terrified to see Long Chen. If they admitted they had said bad things about him, they might lose their lives. Although their master was standing right beside them. He wasn't able to give them a feeling of safety. Two of them had already been killed by Long Chen right in front of him. Didn't you just say that the Dragonblood Legion is a pack of barbarians who have yet to become civilized? Boss is the leader of the Dragonblood Legion. And by insulting the entire Dragonblood Legion, how are you not insulting boss? Said Guo Ran. Hearing this, then looking at the disciples on the ground, Long Chen could guess what had happened. Guo Ran was never good at being peaceful. If he didn't act like a poser for a day, he wouldn't be able to calm down. Moreover, these disciples from Pill Valley were all incredibly arrogant and they looked down on others. It was very likely for a conflict to erupt between the former and the latter. As for whether that conflict was started by Pill Valley's disciples or whether Guo Ran had intentionally baited them, that was a bit harder to say. However, Guo Ran was definitely a wicked character, having dared to beat them to this state. He definitely hadn't left any evidence for them to say that he had started things. Long Chen, if you don't give me an explanation today, I will end you, roared Lu Xianhua. On this trip to the eastern wasteland, he had not only lost two of his disciples and been unable to get revenge, but his remaining disciples had also been beaten black and blue. He had completely lost all his face. Don't point at me with your finger, Long Chen frowned. You, Lu Xianhua was enraged, but thinking of Long Chen's temperament, he put away his hand, saying, Long Chen, you must give me an explanation. Li Changfeng didn't have a good opportunity to interject here. He couldn't help but sigh inside. The previous trouble Long Chen had caused had just been settled through negotiations, and he had just been about to send the three of them away when they encountered Lu Xianhua's disciples that were beaten into this state. He had a headache now, but he also knew that Lu Xianhua wouldn't dare to do anything to Long Chen, at most. He would get Long Chen to lower his head and apologize in order to win back some face. Oh young Kiyuaya was clenching her teeth furiously. Things had just been settled perfectly. But then another matter erupted. She had an urge to throttle Long Chen. His ability to cause trouble was unrevealed beneath the heavens. What happened? Long Chen ignored Lu Xianhua, asking Guo Ran about the disciples on the ground. They were rude to us. At first, we just ignored them. After all, boss. You told us not to provoke others if they don't provoke us. If others provoke us, 
we endure a bit, and if they provoke us again, we pull them up by the roots. So when they acted all bad us, we just calmly watched, solemnly studying their poser arts. Later, they felt like just bragging wasn't satisfying enough, and so they asked to exchange some pointers with us. Gu Yang told them, we're not skilled in such nonsense and only skilled in killing people. Boss doesn't let us randomly bicker. When they heard that, their faces became as long as donkeys, and they began braying insults at us. Then this brother jumped out. Guo Ran pointed to the fellow that only had his upper body remaining. They really knew how to play. Flames billowed out of their bodies, sometimes forming lotuses, sometimes forming weapons. Those big changes were truly impressive. I'm not scholarly enough to describe it in detail, but in any case, it was incredibly amazing to watch. Boss, you know that we're all poor villagers who have never seen the real world. Looking at their marvelous display, we naturally had to pay a fee as appreciation. Otherwise, others would look down on us. Furthermore, I can count as having some status. When I felt my pocket, I found that there were a few dozen cold coins inside. So I tossed them to the ground. Although we're poor, we still understand rules. Considering what a marvelous show they had put on, we couldn't be stingy. If there is an appreciation to show, we should show it. Then, this fellow suddenly charged toward me, saying my conduct was an insult to him. Wilde found him displeasing to the eye, so he beat him a bit. In the end, they all came at us, wanting to beat us, and the result is what you see here, said Guo Ran as if he had been mistreated. Everyone's expressions were odd. Li Changfeng looked from the crafty Guo Ran to Long Chen and sighed inside. As expected, a master would raise the same kind of disciple. With a boss like Long Chen, all the people below him were also sure to be uncontrollable characters. But the shocking thing was that Guo Ran and the others were so strong. Those Pill Valley's disciples were all rank 4 celestials and had all reached the late sea expansion realm. Yet, they had still been beaten so miserably. In truth, they were simply unaware that these Pill Valley's disciples all lived like princes and had always been flattered by others. Their strength in relation to their cultivation base was greatly lacking. As for the Dragonblood Legion, having followed Long Chen for so long, they were all vicious people who had killed their way out of piles of corpses. Although they normally didn't give off much of a dangerous feeling, when they fought, everyone would tremble at their killing intent. To Guo Ran and the others, the Pill Valley's disciples were nothing more than fat sheep in fancy clothes, impressive or looking but useless. But then you shouldn't have been so vicious to your opponents. Lu Xian who has still twisted the truth to suit him. Long Chen's expression suddenly sank, and he scolded Guo Ran. How could you cause such trouble? This caused Guo Ran and the others to jump in surprise. They didn't know why Long Chen would suddenly get so angry. Had they done something wrong? Long Chen raged. What have I taught you all this time? Our Zhuanshan Dao sect is the leader of the Eastern Wasteland's righteous path. We have to be an example for all. But look at what you've all done. Tell me, don't you think it's embarrassing? Where all my teachings just went through your ears. Long Chen's scolding caused Lu Xian Hua's expression to improve slightly. This could count as lowering his head to Pill Valley. In the end, youngsters losing in a little scuffle didn't affect Pill Valley's prestige. The only reason why Lu Xian Hua was so furious was because he had been stifling a belly full of rage all this time. Although Li Changfeng had represented Long Chen to apologize to them all and had also given them some compensation, he was still irritated. He had lost two of his beloved apprentices instead of gaining what he had wanted, causing him to lose all his face. However, he was also helpless to do anything about it. That rage had been brewing this entire time. Then when he walked out and saw that the rest of his disciples had been beaten so badly, well, anyone would find it unbearable. But now that Long Chen was scolding Guo Ran and the others, his expression became a bit better. Lu Xian Hua knew to get going while the getting was good. He was just about to have Li Changfeng state their punishment, which would be no more than a single cane. But Long Chen's next words made him almost pass out. Guo Ran, you've got a big brain, but why can't you remember anything useful? You think with your current ability, you can become a spendthrift? Do you remember how hard we had to work for just a few points in the 108th monastery? TCH, you threw out dozens of gold coins in one go? How generous. Do you know how hard we have to work to get that much money? I always tell you to be frugal. Money is always the most important thing for any power. Guo Ran, although you're my best brother, you've committed an unforgivable mistake. Don't blame me for being merciless. Long Chen clenched his teeth. No, boss, please, please, give me another chance. 
A horrified expression crept over Guo Ran's face, and he knelt on the ground next to Long Chen, holding his leg, wailing. Everyone was startled. What was Long Chen about to do? To cause Guo Ran to be so terrified? Was he going to kill him? Or was he going to expel him from the Dragonblood Legion? The others didn't understand, but the Dragonblood Legion did. All of them knew what was happening, and Men Qi sighed deeply, shaking her head. On the other hand, Tang Wan'er was stifling her laughter. I've decided. Long Chen hardened his heart. Boss, no, I'm begging you. On account of how long we've been together, how much loyalty I've shown you, please don't. Look, I'll take back the money right now. Here, I'll give it all to you. Please boss, just pretend this never happened. Guo Ran picked up all the gold coins and offered them to Long Chen with both hands raised, pitifully staring at him. Looking at the tears in Guo Ran's eyes and how pitiful he looked, everyone felt emotional. As for Long Chen, he almost kicked him away in fury. It was just a play. So was there any need to act so over the top? He almost coughed up blood from watching. Long Chen didn't dare to look at him as this bastard's expression was too powerful. He was afraid he'd laugh. Looking into the distance, he indifferently shook his head. Rules are rules. No one can change them, including myself. So I have to do this. Everyone held their breath. Long Chen grabbed Guo Ran's neck, shouting, I'm going to garnish one year of your salary. Don't you like showing off? Don't you like being generous with your money? Well, for the next year, don't even think of getting a single copper coin from me. As his words resounded throughout the plaza, everyone turned into stone statues. Chapter 960 Departing One by One Translator Born to be boss. Don't. I have so many women in my family. So many babies that need my support. They live off my salary. Guo Ran's face was covered in tears and snot. That's enough. Lu Xian Hu's hair stood on end from rage. They were clearly just playing with him. He had given them a way to step down when he thought that Long Chen was giving him face. However, it was a complete waste of time. This was too much. No one would play with people like this. After beating someone, they were not wrangling over a few gold coins? Lu Xian Hu had no choice but to stop this nonsense. Long Chen, I wasn't haggling with you over the gold coins, raged Lu Xian Hua. You weren't? Ugh, why didn't you say so sooner? Long Chen sighed. To Guo Ran, he said. All right, since they're not going to pursue it, this matter can end here. I won't garnish your salary. Many thanks, boss. Guo Ran's mournful expression vanished. The speed at which he returned to his old self defied imagination. Long Chen. Don't try to avoid the important thing. I was talking about how your people beat my disciples. That? There was nothing wrong with that. Said Long Chen righteously. You. How many times do I have to say it? Don't point at me with your finger. Have you gone senile with age? Raged Long Chen. What's wrong with youngsters exchanging pointers? Furthermore, it was all caused by your people. But you don't feel ashamed to cry foul? What? When you win you laugh. But when you lose you cry. Only you can win but others can't? What kind of logic is that? If you are brazen enough to come and wag your tail in front of other people's faces, you had best be prepared to be slapped. If you bear your butt to others, be ready to have your ass kicked. Choked laughter erupted from countless people. These words were amazingly profound. The pinnacle of conciseness and comprehensiveness. All right, all right. A fight between youngsters isn't something seniors should interfere in. Young people should have that energy. The earlier youngsters suffer the better it is for their future. Brother Shianhua, let's just leave this matter as it is. With your magnanimity, there's no need for you to quibble with a child, said Li Changfang. He had no choice but to try and advise Lu Shianhua. Looking at his infuriated expression, he had to admire Long Chen. Whether it was combat power, the sharpness of his tongue, or his ability to cause trouble, he was practically peerless. According to regular methods, he should have given his guest face and first chided his own child. But with Long Chen's temper, he felt uneasy doing that. So he instead advised Lu Xianhua not to quibble over this. He, a grand king, was quibbling with a child over face? Well, if he could win, then that would be fine. But the main thing was that he couldn't win. So he was just losing more face. Even if Li Changfeng wasn't present, Long Chen had Feng Zingli and Ling Yunzi supporting him. He, Lu Xianhua, wouldn't dare to touch even a strand of hair on Long Chen's head. So in Li Changfeng's opinion, continuing to set himself against Long Chen was foolish for Lu Xianhua. Fine, Long Chen, let's just wait and see. Obviously, although Lu Xianhua was a king, he was incapable of just brushing off such a matter. 
He came from Pill Valley, and he was used to being arrogant and getting his way. Even though he was leaving things as they were, he said some final words to express his fury. Just at this moment, a person squeezed their way through the crowd. That person was Yu Zifeng. He said to Long Chen, Boss, sect leader Ling Yanzi has left. He asked me to give this to you and to tell you to be careful. Lu Xian who had been in the midst of leaving, but when he saw what was in Yu Zifeng's hand, he came to a shocking stop. A king from the Bloodkill Hall, that was a human head with a fierce mask on it, and although it wasn't possible to see its true face, that terrifying pressure that came from it caused all the Zhuanchen Dao sect's disciples to tremble. That was the head of a king, Li Changfeng, Lu Xianhua, and the others were all shocked. That was no ordinary king, but a terrifying assassin king. That mask was a sign of his origins, the specific mark of the Bloodkill Hall. Just thinking of a king-level assassin caused the kings to tremble. Assassins were the most terrifying professions. Even if their actual combat power was weaker than yours, they still had a thousand ways to kill you. Killing someone in the same realm was incredibly easy for them. That was why all those kings were fearful. Why would a king from the Bloodkill Hall come here? Everyone was startled and looked at Long Chen. It seemed there was only one reason for him to come. In the immemorial path, the corrupt path, the righteous path, and the ancient races had taken heavy losses, but the ones to be completely annihilated were the Bloodkill Hall. They had been too concentrated in one location. All the experts below Wang Junmo had been gathered on the ground and exterminated with one attack. Not one of them lived to tell the tale. Could it be that the Bloodkill Hall is ignoring their own rules? Did they send a king to assassinate Long Chen? Li Changfeng's face was dark. The Bloodkill Hall was loathsome as they were a pack of monsters who would kill anyone for money, even their own parents. They were assassins with no morals, but everyone knew they had one rule, and that was that they would never assassinate someone in a lower realm than them. But now, one of their kings had snuck their way into the Zhuanchen Dao sect if they were to say that he had just come for fun. No one would believe it. Haha, <laughs> Long Chen, congratulations on having the Bloodkill Hall place their sights on you. I wish you a long life, said Lu Xianhua delightedly. Then he brought out his flying boat and took all his heavily injured disciples away. The ancient races and ancient family alliances kings also left. Their emotions were about the same as Lu Xianhua's, but their delight in Long Chen's misfortune was covered up by their shock and terror. That king-level assassin had definitely been targeting Long Chen, but he had been killed by Ling Yanzi. That kind of power was absolutely terrifying. It was said that the Bloodkill Hall did not accept missions to assassinate sword cultivators. Because sword cultivator's spiritual perception was extremely refined, it was difficult for the assassins to even approach them. This had further proved that sword cultivators were the bane of assassins. With such a terrifying figure supporting him, they didn't dare to have any thoughts of doing anything to Long Chen. Although Ling Yanzi had left, the head he had left behind was a shocking display of power. Long Chen was also a bit surprised to see a king-level assassin, but this was within his expectations. He had known the Bloodkill Hall wouldn't take this matter lying down. For the Bloodkill Hall to slap its own face and break the rule it had established was a bit out of his expectations. However, after a moment of shock, Long Chen wasn't scared. His fourth star was completed, and his spiritual perception had only grown stronger. Furthermore, Feng Zingli had imparted split the heavens divine runes to him. Once he condensed those, he wouldn't fear anyone, even if he couldn't beat them. He would feel assured of being able to get away. Senior Ling Yanzi left? Why was he in such a rush? Asked Long Chen. It's unclear. Senior didn't say. Yu Zifeng shook his head. After giving him the head, Ling Yanzi had left just like that. His actions were incomprehensible. Zifeng, you, your heavenly Dao energy. Long Chen suddenly took a closer look at Yu Zifeng. The fluctuations of heavenly Dao energy had disappeared from his body. Senior erased my heavenly Dao energy. Saying that while it could help me now, it would be a hindrance to me in the future. The gains don't make up for the loss. For a sword cultivator, just one sword is enough, said Yu Zifeng. Li Changfeng and Lu Minghan were deeply shaken. Just what kind of power did Ling Yanzi possess for him to be able to wipe away a person's heavenly Dao energy? He was able to turn a celestial into a normal person without causing any damage to them? That was incomprehensible. Long Chen came to a sudden comprehension. Ling Yanzi was right. Sword cultivators walked a different path than others. He had almost accidentally harmed Yu Zifeng. Fortunately, Ling Yanzi had righted that mistake. Now that Ling Yanzi and Feng Zingli had left, Long Chen couldn't help but feel a bit disappointed and frustrated. 
Since Phoenix Cry, he had always relied on himself. He had never depended on others. But this time, this matter had grown to a shocking level. Ling Yanzi and Feng Zingli's arrival had caused him to feel how nice it was to be protected. He was extremely grateful. Once everyone scattered, Long Chen was called over by Ouyang Qiuayu. Within a private room, Ouyang Qiuayu hesitated for a long time before saying, Long Chen, do you really not have any Yuan spirit stones left? I do, but I won't give them to just anyone, said Long Chen directly. He knew that Lu Minghan and Li Changfeng had pressured her into asking this, or Ouyang Qiuayu definitely wouldn't have asked. Then have you thought about offering a few of those Yuan spirit stones to your seniors? You'll gain more benefits. And when you enter the head sect said Ouyang Qiuayu, let's just forget about that. Just our eastern wasteland's Zuan Chandeo sect is rotten to its core. It's not hard for me to guess what the situation will be like in the head sect if I offer up Yuan spirit stones. I won't be able to obtain anything I want. Instead, I would become someone who ends up being promoted through bribes. And that's definitely not worth it. So it's best for those things to stay in my hands. If I encounter things I need in the future, then I might trade them. So no matter what, I won't give them any Yuan spirit stones. Big sister, you can go back directly and tell them there's nothing for them. When I was powerless, when I needed help, did they help me? Now that I have some good stuff, they came here to talk about morality and principles? Do they think I'm an idiot? Sneered Long Chen. If Ouyang Qiuayu needed them, then Long Chen wouldn't even frown before giving them to her. But he wouldn't give them to others. Ouyang Qiuayu knew Long Chen's temperament, so she didn't try to change his mind. Long Chen left just like that. But a day later, he got a message to go see Ouyang Qiuayu again. As soon as he stepped to the palace, Lu Minghan appeared in front of him, his expression icy.